Good afternoon. How are we all doing? Welcome in, Ravane and Tam. It looks like I'm not only audible out the left this time. So that's hopefully a good sign. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, so I booted up in Stars and Time. Right in the middle! Holy shit! <laughs> Who'd have thought? Uh, Fuzzy, Nosbjorn, and a critic of Sid also have come in. Hope you're having a nice Wednesday. I had a morning where I was achieving some things. I had a blood test. And then I got back home. I basically fell asleep again. So I'm fine and normal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and Iris, welcome in. How you doing? Um... Yeah, I booted up in Stars and Time, and Sifrin, Sifrin is it's the last time their eyes were closed. This time, they're looking morose. Oh, I wonder if this <laughs> if this menu screen is going to change more. I'm honestly very scared. Did I pass the test? I won't find out until Friday, I think. But if you know, I don't get called, I'm probably fine. Hey, anyway, welcome in. How you doing? Fine and normal gang, fine and normal gang, fine and normal gang. We're also fine and normal. Um, right. Let's get back into it. We're on loop three. I could have sworn we're on loop four. I guess our first loop was loop zero, wasn't it? So, yeah, that would, that makes sense then. Wow! Okay, that's enough for this loop. <laughs> you thank the change god for its blessing and quickly run away. I was like, hang on. <laughs> What do you mean that's enough for this loop? We only just turned up. Um, so yeah, um, at the end of last stream, I, uh, play. I'm awake, don't worry about it. Um, I got a blessing of better defense, just cause we hadn't done it yet. Um, I don't remember what the text was. I think it was slightly humorous, but not all too important. Uh, right, we learned, I think, enough information to get some stuff out of her. We learned that Mirabelle knows who she is, but knows her as the scary person. So hopefully, um, how do I skip? There we go. You tell her what Mirabelle thinks of her. <clears throat> she thinks I'm scary? No, no, no! But wait, you said she also likes my style? Could you recap what happened first stream for the people who slept through the first three hours of it and couldn't be bothered to catch up with the VOD? Um, okay. I will after I finish this conversation with the stylish person, because I may also need a bit of time to line it back up in my head. You said she also liked my style? He nod. Oh. Oh, change. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful. I know exactly what to do. Give me three seconds, added one. All uh. right. Yes! Okay, let's go! <laughs> Can you give this to Mirabelle? I, um, I hope she likes it. We got fan mail! Hey, there we go. It's packaged in a letter addressed to Mirabelle. Better give it to her before tomorrow. We will. Don't you worry. Thank you. Please give it to her. Please. I don't want to scare her. Please. <laughs> don't worry, we're on it. Um, okay, so what did happen last time? Last time, we're Sifrin. This is us. We are on an adventure with these clowns. We've got Mirabelle, who is a housemaiden, which I think is kind of like a religious person. Um, I'm not sure what the best equivalent is, um, but uh, she was a, a house, housemaiden of the House of Change, who is the main god of this area. Um, which essentially is just, hey, change is good. You should try to change when you can for the better. Things like that. These clowns and Bonnie! <laughs> and Bonnie, we'll get to Bonnie. Um, so uh, a long, a while back at least, uh, a character known as the King appeared with sinister magics that froze time across the whole country. Uh, such as, there is someone we can find to demonstrate this. I think they're in here? Yes, this lady over here is frozen in time. Um, looking, judging by the way she looks, she's at the last stage of the King's Curse. Not even Mirabelle could reverse it now. Anyway, she can come back to normal, so if you manage to beat the King. Yes, yeah, so the King, uh, set up in the House of Change, um, and has frozen 
loads of people in time, including most of the people in the house, save for Mirabelle, who went out on a quest to go and find people to help her defeat the king and remove his curse. Those people being uh, Mirabelle and Isabeau. Uh, no, she was Mirabelle. Uh, Mirabelle uh, recruited Isabeau and Odile, um, who traveled with her for a while. Then they all met up with Sifrin. So there was like a, a sort of a backstory that basically sounds like a different RPG in itself. Um, well, they had to gather a bunch of orbs, I guess. That's how we get into the castle. Um, they also met Bonnie on the way. Bonnie is a literal child uh, and shouldn't be in fights, but that is why Bonnie is in charge of snacks. Um, <laughs> and they are all great and I love them all. And it's wonderful. Um, so yes, on the final day, when they were ready to storm the king's castle. Um, we went in and we got crushed by a giant boulder and we discovered that we are in a time loop. Who's making us go in a time loop, you ask? Why, that would be none other than the favor tree. You talk to Isabeau first. Okay, we'll have to talk to Isabeau first. Um, can I give you a little eyes? I am extremely jealous. You're not wrong. Um, a being called Loop. Um, they seem to be a star creature of some kind. Um, and yeah, they are. They are, I think, seemingly responsible for us being in this time loop that we now have to try and get through in order to find our way through the castle. Um, so our first mission is to tell everyone about a sleepover we'll be having at the place that we're already staying. So, Isabel. As well as here, probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Isa, surf. Isa, surf. Isa, surf. Isa. Okay, that's it. I'm ending this bit. Ah, oh. <laughs> boo. That has to be Sifrin. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? Joke time. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. We can't. Hmm. Hmm. We're not sick of this joke yet. Look at that face. Sifrin isn't sick of this joke. Does only Sif remember the time loop? Sif is the only one that we know remembers the, si the time loop. I have my suspicions that Odile might as well, but thus far, Sif is the only one that seems to remember the time loop. <clears throat> one would say it's a pretty... Uh-huh. Tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah! I hope you guys like that joke because you will be hearing it basically every time we loop until Sifrin doesn't seem to be keen on it anymore, which I suspect might happen. I think there might come a time when Sifrin is just like, I can't keep making this joke anymore. You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder, but stops and brings it to his side. What's up with the hand? <laughs> that was funny. Gather, you once died by banana peel? I once tried to die by banana peel. It didn't work out though. Loop or that is true. Loop remembers the loop or possibly is the loop. I'm gonna go talk to Loop. <laughs> Maybe we can get some more info. I'm gonna go soon so you can do anything with the tree, but do you wanna talk before I go? Questions for Issa. I don't think we have anything new to ask. Okay, I'll be going now. See you at the clock tower later. Thanks, bud. Okay. Here's Loop. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a voice mod this time. Why not? Aw, you did come and see me. I need to click back into the game. Maybe I won't do this voice mod ever again. <laughs> Was it because you felt sorry for me, all alone under this big tree? That's so sweet, Stardust. You're regretting it now. Aw, Stardust. I can tell you're starting to like me. It's okay, just admit it. I won't judge. It's not weird. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna bother with the voice mod. It's too much faff. <laughs> anyway, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Questions, questions. Um, I could ask what I want, what I could do next, but I don't want to figure it out. I had a question about. Hmm. Actually, now there's this book fan. Mira has a fan. The trouble is, I don't know how much of these are just like fun conversations. How much of these are like tips that I don't necessarily want yet because I'm not stuck. How come I can see where the keys are? What? You can? 
How can that be? Is it thanks to you? Maybe. I figured you'd have other things to worry about than where a stupid key is. No need to thank me. Uh, actually, nah. Um, let's talk about something. Sure, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Can you read my thoughts? Nah, I just have very good intuition. Like, somehow I can tell what you're about to say. So weird. Suspicious. What, me? Suspicious? Say it ain't so! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I guess there's... If it's white text, you've never talked about it before. If it's light grey text, you've talked about it before, but there's something inside of it that you haven't talked about before. And if it's dark grey text, you've talked about everything... you talked about both it and everything within it. Oh, we just can't talk about that now. Interesting, okay. Curious. Curious, curious, curious. See you later, Stardust. They wave at you excitedly. Your clue wave back as you go. Thanks, Loop. I'll talk to you again later. I'm sure. Smart. Also, Snow Wraith, welcome in. And Tony, I don't know if I said hello to you. Hello, Tony. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Do I battle this child for free supplies? You did? Well, I'll do it again. Misa, you weren't here last time. Isabeau is here, looking towards the house. Hey again, Sif. What's up? This is for Isa. I guess this is just so that we can talk to him about anything we didn't before? Anything weird happened lately? Huh, tree felt a little weird earlier, so I thought something was wrong. But it passed, so I guess it's fine. Oh. I know what's wrong with it. Oh? Uh -huh. What's wrong with it? It has a parasite. A uh, parasite? What kind? Shiny, annoying kind. So a firefly has taken over the tree. <laughs> you not? That is weird. Sure is. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Um, what's up with the big tree? Huh, don't know about the favorite tree? Well, it's just a random big tree. If you're a believer of the house of change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called the favor tree. It's like, it's the tree with the most power so you can ask it things. It's a favor. Like, please help me pass my defender exams. Which is like a total random example. You ask a mythical tree to help you pass your exams. Can I pass with flying colors? Thank you very much. Well, they did study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. <laughs> you should ask the tree for a favor too. It's a big day tomorrow. You already did. No point in asking for another one. Um, cool. I don't think you're saying anything new to me now, other than the little conversation about the parasite. Oh. What a devastating castle. Horrifying, isn't it? A beautiful house of change warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside. It's for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. I suppose the king will have to wait a little longer. We're working on it. We're doing our best. Can we slip on this now? The banana peel lays there menacingly. But wait, instead of a banana peel, could it be... A plantain peel? Whatever. <laughs> Plantains are just bananas that taste bad. This is banana peel to you, now and forevermore. Step closer? Well... <laughs> I mean... You decide to step closer. Here we go! <laughs> well... At least we do now know that the banana peel is as deadly as it claims to be. Uh, let's just go back to the back to Dormont because I've still got side quests I want to do. Truly a dangerous forbidden fruit. Since death seems to be the easiest way to loop, this banana peel might come in useful sometime. Not a bad point, actually. Very helpful. All right, <laughs> we do need to restart this loop again, though. Which means I do need to go and get the fan mail again. Zephron, you're up! Usual, please. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. It was alright. I'm glad. Let's have a sleepover. Sounds like an amazing idea. Think so, yes. 
I always remember things. We've done this enough times by now, Mirabelle. We'll definitely remember it all. <laughs> is that a death? That is a death, yes. <laughs> Big hat and possibly warm looking cloak. <clears throat> she does think you're scary, but you can give her some fan mail, so it's good. I apparently can't... Uh, apparently can't fast forward through this, even though I have seen it. Rude. I will give this to Mirabelle. Don't you worry. I don't, I won't slip and die on a banana peel this time. I promise. <clears throat> it's a sneaky reset and able run attack. Exactly. Yeah, that is a, a good idea. <clears throat> um, all right. Let's talk to Mirabelle. Mirabelle is here, sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Questions. Fan mail delivery. You give her the gift. Fan mail? From a stylish lady? Okay. Oh, it's from one of my classmates? Are you... Oh. Oh! That's from um, a scary classmate of mine. Or at least, I thought she was scary. She has a very intense look, you know. But... She's gifting me a bow she made? And she thought it would fit me well, and she says... She says... Suddenly, Mirabelle starts tearing up. She's such a nice person. I'm so glad that... So glad that... Anyway, look! Look at this bow! Isn't it pretty? She's crying, but she must not want you to mention it. You look at the bow. It's a very bright shade and seems to sparkle in the light. Probably fit Mirabelle very well. What do you think happens to an iteration after you die in it? I suspect maybe the game will answer that. I get the feeling that might be where the game makes me cry. <laughs> Probably fit Mirabelle very well. Looks wonderful. It does! You got the stylish bow. Mirabelle keeps it safe. Um, so when you loop, for those who missed it, you'd keep any equipment that you got. So we have this stylish bow now. Boost attack speed recovers 2% HP every turn. Woo. Defense goes down a fair bit, but I think that is absolutely worth it. Um, yes, you get to keep any equipment that you found. Um, so we found this needle sword. Um, in the in the castle. Um, but any items that you get will be reset. But there's something in place for you keep the highest amount that you've had at any one time or something like that. I don't entirely remember. I think you could cry before that. I mean, yes, I think there is a decent... I already teared up once. I don't remember at what. Um, but I reckon there's a good chance that I will cry sooner. But I think that's when the game will be trying to make me cry. Actively. <laughs> um, alright. We can also equip memories. So, currently we have a memory of Isabeau, um, which gives plus five to all stats. But on a previous loop, uh, Isabeau learned the ability so weak! And if we equip him with that ability, he can use that skill even if he's lower level than when he learns that skill. If that makes sense. And the emotion lives come out, exactly. Um And yeah. There's there's your there's your game. It's cute. I love it. I want to play it forever. <clears throat> that may not be true. I suspect this game may give me important lessons on why I wouldn't want to play it forever. Isa Sif! Isa Sif! Isa <laughs> That's enough. Hey, it's just like the favorite tree, isn't this tree cool? Took time, yeah it is. Hmm. Alright, let's see what happens if we say stop here. No. You will always make the joke! <laughs> yes! Uh-huh. It's a pretty tremendous tree! <laughs> yeah! Every time. We can't, we can't let Isabeau down like that, to be fair. Okay, he did the hand thing again. You're too curious. You'll have to ask later. <gasps> Ooh, that's it. That's a new development. Thank you, Sif. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to not say the joke, but my curiosity got the better of me. Oh, <sighs> that was funny. I'm gonna go since you can do anything with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? Can we ask him about the hand? What's up with the hand thing? <clears throat> the hand thing? What? You do the same gesture he does every time you talk to him at this time. 
bringing your hand up towards his shoulder, then sharply taking your hand back. Isabeau looks at your gesture, confused. Then suddenly stills. Uh, um, uh, well, I I was trying to touch your shoulder. It's like, a bro thing. Huh? But I remember you don't like to be touched. I remember mid-move, so I didn't touch you. So it's okay. Sorry. I was trying to touch your shoulder. I'm not sure how to react to this. Uh, see, this is why I didn't do it. Because you do that face every time people try to touch you. I'm sorry. I try to remember. Sorry. Okay. You're confused, but it feels like he thinks you don't want to be touched. You don't want to think about this anymore. Anyway. Oh. Uh. Nope. No more questions for you right now. See you at the clock tower. <laughs> hey, do you have anything to say about how I slipped on the banana peel? Hey, Stardust. Hmm? Takes you a lot of time, doesn't it? To loop back and talk to me. Sure does. It's fine. Is it? Uh, it's fine. Uh-huh. But, hmm, I wonder if... Yeah, that's a good idea. How about I teach you a special craft skill so you can talk to me whenever? See, it was totally worth slipping on that banana peel. <laughs> a craft skill to talk to Loop even when you're not near them? It seems impossible. Only because you don't know the specific hand shape for it. Yes, Stardust. A fourth hand shape. So you can talk to me whenever. Are you interested? A fourth hand shape? If anyone would know about this, it'd be someone like Loop. You nod. Great! Alright, are you ready? Not again. So, take your hand and make a fist. You do so. Then, you're going to raise your thumb and little finger. Raise thumb, raise little finger. And, keeping your hand in that shape, you're going to put your hand next to your face, with a thumb to your ear, and a little finger to your mouth. <laughs> That's the secret hand shape no one knows about. Interesting. <laughs> You've never heard about this. You have a bad memory. You may have just forgotten it. And then, the very last step. There's more? There is, Stardust. You just have to think very loudly. Boy, I sure wish I could talk to Loop right now. Now that part just sounds silly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's definitely the silly part of this ritual. And that's it. Now you can call me whenever. Well, mostly whenever. It might not work sometimes, especially if you get too far. And we won't be able to chat very long or anything, so you'll still need to come whenever you want to breathe breather, or need to chat. But now I can help you out and give you hints whenever. Or if you want me to put it another way, you just learn the skill call loop. You can call me anytime to get some freshest hints. To call me, just go into your craft menu and select call loop. Easy as pie. Ow. <laughs> All right, now that you're here, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Questions, questions. What should I do next? What you should do? Well, big rock trap again, huh? That's what happens when you don't look hard enough, Stardust. Ugh. How to see things with one eye. Yeah, I know. You'll miss things no matter what, especially with your sight reduced. You shouldn't feel bad. You can loop back and look everywhere again, after all. That was... That's a surprisingly nice thing to say. I'm always nice, Stardust. And yes, you came to see Loop, but it's gonna be a pain to go back to floor two. Not really. You could always loop back, Stardust. So, you know, find an easy way to die somewhere in Dormont. There's an easy loop back spot somewhere. I wonder if you can find it. We already did. Anything else? Nope, we're good. See you later, Stardust. Maybe you excitedly. You'll clue it back as you go. Well. Hint hotline, exactly. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Um. So we could go and die and skip forward into the dungeon, but I think I'm going to go ahead, seeing as we had that thing with Isabeau. I want to see if anything changes during the night scene when he says he has something he wants to tell us and then he doesn't. Well, since you're very strong, you're gonna help save us all, but I need to challenge you. Let's play rock, paper, scissors! I accept your challenge. Yeah! 
Okay. Do I remember the order? I think I do paper, rock, scissors? Ugh. I'm fairly certain. Um, yeah, I want to try and get a very good stock of items this run, I think. If I can. Uh, paper? Dang it! I got it wrong. Okay. I need to do scissors, paper, rock. So maybe if I still win, I get a present. I had my meeting and remained cheerful the whole time. Prize, please. Excellent work, Perrin. I'm extremely proud of you. You were definitely facing the odds of not... Oh. <laughs> I was paying attention. Ha <laughs> ha! I have thrown scissors! Victory is mine! No! This can't be a draw! You're quite powerful, hat adult. I'll give you that. Now you know the basic rock, paper, scissors, so you're invincible! Our training has come to an end. Aw. I goofed it. Oh well. It's cool when things go wrong and they're not my fault. A level 5 hype train, hell yeah! <laughs> um, alright. Um. What am I doing? I'm doing things wrong. Hang on. I love how she smiles. It's so cute. This game is, it's too much. Yeah, nothing for a draw. So, you know, if nothing else, I learned. What I'm doing, oh, that is true. I should go and do some fishing. <laughs> Quick death, at least that's, yeah, true. Okay, it's filled with books about cultures. There is this one book we can't read. Take the book out again. Try to read the title until your eyes water. Put it back. Hey. Surely someone can tell us about this. Welcome to the library. Well, our selection is kind of lacking. All the good books are in the house. Are we? No. No problem. Let me know if I can help with anything. I guess we're not looking for any books right now. We are looking for Chateau Castle books, right? Do I have a list of my side quests anywhere? I don't think I do, right? Doesn't look like it. It's you! What are we holding? Oh, it's like a curved dagger. Okay. <laughs> That's just a kid! Who brought a kid here? I love this so much. Just, ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, this game! <laughs> um, okay. Um. So, Isabeau. Hang on. Craft. Sifrin. We can call loop. Good to know. Um, all right. I'm not going to be too worried about picking up items then. Uh, ooh, I want to get your weird leaf this time. The kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. You look so weird. Are you from up in the sky? Are you? How did you know? Yes, I knew it. You're from the sky then. I'm going to give this back to you. Got a four-pointed leaf. Put the leaf in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. Mm hmm. It nods stoically. So, maybe we can give this to Loop? I don't know if Loop came from the sky, but they seem to be a star. So, that seems like a potential point of interest. <laughs> a parasite, huh? You wound me, Stardust. Anyway, how can I help you on this wonderful new Loop? You want this leaf? No, apparently not. See you later, Stardust. Well, now that I know Loop says stuff about stuff you've said and done on previous Loops. Hey, Stardust, how can I help you? Okay, you definitely don't want anything to do with this leaf we got, or I guess. Fine, be that way. I just want weakness and resistance, hell yeah. Weakness to cheese, resistance to vegetables, precisely. Relatable. <laughs> um, we've got to get, we've got to get the amazing drawing from the kid. It's Mirabelle! It's Mirabelle! <laughs> it beams at you. They shuffle their drawings around and show you another one. It's you! It's me! You'd like to get that drawing again. 
Can you draw me something I can take with me? The kid looks at you for a moment, and then gets to work. It's you and your allies! It's me and my friends! Did that say it's me and my allies last time, or did it say it's me and my friends? Or it's you and my- you and your friends? I don't remember. The kid makes a happy noise and gives you the drawing. I've got the friendship doodle! Put the drawing in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Thank you, talented one! Kid laughs happily and gets back to drawing. Kid grins at you and gets back to- Oh, <laughs> so cute! <laughs> ah! I'm gonna cry. Um, hi. Oh, uh, aren't you one of the sailors traveling with the rare ball? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. I don't know why I've given this person <laughs> allergies to the flowers they grow. I know. I grow flowers. Beautiful flowers that could make someone like you happy. Here, yeah, have one. You could keep it or gift it to someone special. Another bright flower. Okay, so far we've given the flower to Mirabelle and Bonnie, right? Let's give it to Issa this time. I wanna see what happens. Hey, Issa. Issa, Issa, Issa. Hey, Gensif, what's up? Flower for you. What? A flower? Uh, for me? You're the only one here, Issa. Well. <laughs> There is the old lady over there, but... Ah, uh, yeah! Isabeau takes the flower and cradles it gently in his hands. Thanks, Seth. I... I'll treasure it forever! He seems happy. Oh, that's so cute! Okay. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just... Phenomenally adorable. I am going to scream. Not on, on stream, though. Currently, at least. Then again, I have basically already screamed, huh? How you doing, Bon? Bonnie's here looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie! Hey, friend. Oh, boy. What do you want? Uh, nothing new? Hmm. See the clock tower. Um. Design says, my friend made a sign for my house, so now I have to keep it. Who's in here again? Ah, yeah, you're making big soup. Recipes? I'm just saying, again, Bonnie might be interested in some recipes. They are in charge of snack detail. Uh, where's the shop? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, with all the barrels. Uh, ooh. We have something to ask the shopkeeper. I don't remember what. Oh, hi, traveling one. Oh, you're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. Can you believe Mirabelle has been blessed by the Change God to save us all? The Change God almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle has been chosen. May the Change God protect her in her journey. Oh, but you forget. Know anything about locked doors in the house? Locked doors? Ah, yes. There's one locked by one of those weird locks. Or those word locks. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, I remember. The open phrase to open it is st Storage Room. <laughs> st storage Room. <laughs> Because there's a storage room inside. But I didn't want it to unlock if you just said storage room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Well, either way, there's not much in there. Nonetheless, I hope it helps you on your journey tomorrow. Excellent. Okay. That's another room we can go into. Hey, Odile. Odile. Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Locked out, sleepover. Sleepover? Ugh. You guys really are kids. Very out of problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Or Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. The room only has three beds, right? I bet I get a whole bed to myself. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mirabelle and Bonnie? So he'll sleep on the ground, you or Isabeau? I think me and Isa will share? Fascinating. Anyway, I'll be there. You know, since we already decided earlier we'd meet at the clock tower and all. You really don't have to talk to everyone again. <laughs> Suppose you don't need to tell her every time. But I want to. All right. Um, we need to get our blessing. That whole conversation reminded me. 
if you believe strongly or whatever, that your hits will super hurt. Best defense is a good offense. If you hit hard, no one will hurt you or your friends. Repeat under your breath. Super powerful, super powerful, super powerful. You actually feel a little more powerful? Do a little flourish with your dagger. You dropped your dagger. Embarrassing. You know, as a tag got boosted a little. Hell yeah. Uh, sure. I'll save. Uh huh. Wow. Okay, that's enough for this loop. You thank the change god for his blessing and quickly run away. It somehow only just occurred to me that for whatever reason I'm suddenly using my controller this time round. When last time I just used the keyboard. Not a huge matter, but it's just something that suddenly dawned on me. Howdy howdy! It's a friend! You're here! We're waiting for you. I did forget to fish. Ah well, next loop. <laughs> Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. Be hungry yourself. I got back a bunch of food! Let's go, let's go! There's always next leap. <sighs> bon bon. Mm -hmm. You ate all the food on your plate and more. But you're still hungry. You try not to show it though. We'll stay with you, Mira, for as long as you can. There's gonna be many loops. Isabeau's whispering your name. Ah, uh, sorry wake you up. Just have to tell you something. That's okay. Not for the first time, you wonder about what he wants to tell you. All you know is, you will not learn tonight. You nod. Okay. 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 Let's tell you the thing. The thing I woke you up to tell you. <laughs> um, okay. So, the thing I have to tell you is that I don't have anything to tell you right now. But I will when uh when we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? It's still so ominous, he said. It's not meant to be. I just don't want to tell you right now. I distract you. We won't want that, right? So, um I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? You haven't gotten to the king yet, so you still don't know what he wants to say. He's so curious. Anything you can say is okay. Okay. <laughs> Every time. A classic. Some people are trying to sleep! Yeah, Isabeau! Some people are trying to sleep! Close your mouth and sleep! You close No, you close your mouth, house maiden! You're gonna wake up and damn ordeal! Already up. And if the noise continues, I will stand up. You do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Maybe everyone remembers the time leap but thinks the others don't. Maybe. I can't help but wonder. Sorry. Sorry, madame. Sorry. It seems odd that none of them would change their behaviour, like, basically at all, though. If that were the case. Night, Seth. Think about how far you still have to go before beating the king. You fall asleep. <laughs> if everyone remembers a time loop, is it truly a time loop? Yes. Because there will still think be things that happen externally that happen over and over again. That you can't control based on actions. The house's gate. You look up at it. The house's gate, huh? Bigger than I thought. So scary. It really is locked shut. We're gonna use our magic orbs that we got on the other adventure. <laughs> also, welcome in Somp. How you doing? Usually you'd be the only one who doesn't pretend to be level 45. Yeah. Yeah, what level are we? We're 47. They're all 45 still. Do I... <sighs> I do need to level up Mirabelle. I remember this from last time. Oh, up ahead, that's the same sadness as usual. Here again! 
All right, let's just defeat it. She'll be fine anyway, won't she? All right. I definitely remember how the combat works in this game. Don't worry about it. Um, you okay, turn to an ally, boosting their attack and crit chance. Do I want to do this optimally? Kinda. Don't be scissors. How hard could it be? I mean, not hard, hard, but still, I don't entirely remember everything about it. You buff a friend. Uh, ease of bow, do you smash, why not? There we go, easy peasy. Let's play softly. Wait, it's still alive! Ugh. Absolutely so rude. Breathe in and out. It occurs to me, with Sifrin getting stronger, we can probably just default attack these enemies, at least eventually. And it go pretty dang well. Dang it! Leave us alone. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do normal attacking. I think. I don't even care. I don't even care that this isn't optimal. I wanted. Oh. <gasps> go, Bonnie. Go. Oh. <laughs> you tried, Bonnie. That was the important thing. Hell yeah. Breathe in and out. Okay. Hmm. I might need Mirabelle to heal Mirabelle. It takes a Mirabelle to heal a Mirabelle, as they say. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oof, ow. Bones brackets various. Um, alternatively, we do your turn, give it to Mirabelle. And we can maybe do big fancy attack. No, it's already dead. The big fancy attack would have healed, though. I maintain it was still a good strategy. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, this will heal us up anyway, so that's fine. Everyone was healed. Let's not save our progress right now. Storage room. Let's look around. Okay, I'm gonna take all of these tonics. Various. I'm gonna take the little <laughs> bell again. Pendant shaped like a bell. We got a bell pendant. Put the bell pendant in your pocket along with these souvenirs. Got the bell pendant back. Ding ding! Look at the pendant. Shaped like a bell. You sure it'll go ding ding when you shake it. You shake the pendant. It goes ding ding. As if summoned, the funny noises appreciation crew jumped to your side. Ding ding! Ding ding! Ding ding. If you had a chain, you could wear the pendant and go ding ding all day long. <laughs> gotta do it. That's just that's just the law. You've always gotta tell the joke. You've always gotta summon the funny noises appreciation crew. Uh, what does this say? Some flyers! They say house of change open. Come and see what you can do for the community and what the community can do for you. People with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. I think they look nice. Uh so we get the key. Thank you kindly. Hmm. No time. We know it's about the loop. Or about change. Maybe I don't know what it's about. Maybe I'm lying. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a liar. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Mustn't rush too much. Oh, wait, Sifrin, I just remembered. This room, it's... And press the switch. Again, crushing Bonnie. Stop crushing Bonnie. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Let's go, everyone. Not even faced, huh? So cool, Sif. What up? I'm gonna make you be dead now, I think, if you don't mind. And even if you do, actually, I've decided. Ugh. What a jerk. All right. Scissors is not particularly good against either of them, but we don't have many paper skills. And we only have one rock. <laughs> it's Bill Cipher! Um, so I might do a bunch of scissors attacks on the top guy and just go for a strong attack. Ouch. 
because you'll do your turn on Mirabelle. Mirabelle needs to attack the Rancor. Odile attacks the Rancor. Oh, I did that wrong. I forgot that uh, she would need to uh, use a special move, to use a craft to do that. Well, never mind then. Death to you now. <laughs> now you are dead, it turns out. His friends called him Willy Encoding. They do no such thing. I've watched the series and nobody calls him that. Ah, oh, these guys. <gasps> the sadness has got all mixed up. Good gracious, however will I track which one I should use what on? Who can guess? Not I. Certainly not I. <laughs> not friends with him. Ouch. Uh, your turn, Mirabelle. We're gonna do it right this time. Craft scissors on the pen. And then Sifrin attacks again. And then everyone gets a heal and does a big, powerful attack. Which doesn't kill, unfortunately, but that's not entirely surprising. How oh, worth. Uh, stop it! Dark Souls rules. Watch the hands, exactly. Um, <laughs> it's Dark Souls rules. It's all just rock, paper, scissors in a fancy hat. Ooh, Tristess. Oof. Ow, my bones. Um, let's give turn to Odile, I guess. Do the three. Wonderful. Didn't really need to do any of that, but that's fine. We're doing a bit of grinding this time. That's that's fine. We can just do that. We're allowed. We're all adults here. Uh, oh yeah, there's mini bosses to fight this time as well, isn't there? What up? All right. Mistress Tess is unfortunately quite quick. Um, all right. Attack. And attack. I mean, I guess give your turn to Mirabelle. But I don't think. Yeah. It doesn't massively matter. I am glad that the battles aren't too involved. Considering, you know, how progress gets reset so often. <laughs> Ugh, Rancor. An absolute jerk, you know that? Right, we're going to do the same thing we did last time before this guy. But we're going to do it correctly this time. Oof. Uh, your turn, Mirabelle. Craft scissors on the Rancor. I should probably have used that on the one that resists, considering it has more health and it's a big attack. But whatever. He's a peasy. He's a peasy. Don't even worry about it. Uh, all right. I'll take these salty broths. I'll take. Crafted water. Have I looked at this? Figuring of the change guard. Been destroyed. Yes. Did. We know that uh, Odile isn't learning cutleryology. Some books. One of them is a very striking cover of a mooded clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. Spooky. Ooh. I wonder if that's going to be important. Gotta dodge the tears. Is that the, s the storeroom room? I don't remember. I feel like it's deeper in, but... Ow! Don't be rude. Uh, your turn, Mirabelle. Do the same thing as we do over and over again. Oof. Well, 
I was hoping to get a bit more done before it died, but that's fine, I suppose. Right, are you this to store room? room? Door is locked tight. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. It's to storage room. room. Say the sentence to storage room, room out loud. The door unlocked. Hell yeah. What? Well, let's go inside then. Ah, uh, yes. A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. What's that about? I can't wait to learn. It says inside, do not shake. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. Some vials. Let's see. We've got a ginger juice, a sweet tonic. Give it to Bonnie for safekeeping. Get yeah. two salty broths. Ooh, nice. I don't remember what the salty broths do. Hang on. Salty broths. Lower all of an ally's craft skill cooldowns by six. So why can we use it on the overworld, I wonder? Because I don't think we have cooldowns on the world map, right? At least not yet. Maybe later we do. Wait, there. God damn it. Okay. Craft. Mirabelle can't heal outside of battle, right? No. Dang. Alright, that's fine. We can get her into a battle and have her heal herself up. Love a salty broth. Hell yeah. <laughs> it it reduces all of my cooldowns. The bookcase is filled with many books written in many different languages. Bogardian, Potterian, Wudu. One of them is written in a language you cannot read. Just looking at it is giving you a headache. <gasps> Does anyone understand this language? And so we can know to ask you about this weird book that we find? On every loop? No? Okay. Do we have any skills with cooldowns yet? No, we do. All of our craft has cooldowns. Um, just none of them happen on the world map. It's a Praetorian Vogardian translation dictionary. It's open to a page of Vogardian words starting with a T. Taciturd. What does taciturd mean? It's someone who doesn't speak up very often, Boniface. Oh, like Fred. Okay. Yes, just like Sifrin. Hey. I speak up sometimes. Um, Not really, Sif. My teacher always says we gotta speak up more. You're an adult, so why don't you speak up more, stupid? Why don't you? You just don't have much to say. It's simpler to just let people talk. I just don't have much to say. Hmm. And it's nice to hear you all talk. Oh. Aww! That's cute. That's a lovely thing to say, Sifrin. Huh? It feels like we tamed a wild animal, doesn't it? Perfect analogy. Maybe soon we'll even be able to pet them. Oh crap, stop! Just imagining it makes me emotional! Are they making fun of you? You hide your face under your hat. See, now you went back to a shy, skittish animal. All this hard work. Wasted. Face warm, you walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're coming. Aww. Oh, Sifrin. A stool. Um, alright. Delightful. Um, can we learn any other words? It's a dictionary. Look to a page of words starting with a T. Only the word taciturn. <laughs> Nothing else. <gasps> uh oh. That was the one person I didn't want to get hit by that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mirabelle, why don't you heal yourself up real quick? Your turn... Mirabelle. Why not? I might just womp them. It's all good. Breathe in and out. 400 experience received. Right, so is Mirabelle's healing on a cooldown now? Doesn't look like it. Ah well. Pillar. Uh, fine. I probably shouldn't, considering we've got a mini boss right next door. Ugh. Yeah, let's escape. Yeah, the cooldowns do reset at the end of the battle, but I guess maybe there'll be something later on that will make that relevant. Hey, buddy. So you're hiding your hands. Okay, that was resisted. 
So I think that would make it would make it paper specifically. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Um. Then I guess let's just use a bunch of scissors attacks. Craft your turn, Mirabelle. Attack again. I should maybe use a craft from Mirabelle. I should probably use crafts from all of them, really. All things considered. Bonnie missed, but they tried. That's the important thing. Knife to meet you! Hell yeah. Or unleash a scissors attack. <laughs> Breathe in and out. Easy peasy. Feels weird too, like the tier we passed by earlier. Yes, we get the tier pendant, which lets us clear out some of those tiers. Easy peasy, the hole doesn't bring you anywhere. Not gonna fight you right now, I've decided. Tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so use the star crest. Free path time. Well, I don't know what this water was, but the crest made it go away. Oh wait, I remember. Those are tears. The villagers adore my call them tears, and if you touch them, you get frozen in time. I think we found this crest then. <laughs> Is it gonna happen again? Wait, let's get these vials first. Let's get our supplies. Fly off of the dorm of boulangerie. Let's go. Loving it is the yeast they could do. No. No! No out! <laughs> yes, teamwork. I made this joke before, but making jokes with Isabeau makes you happy. Mm. Ow! Hit your hip into the counter again. Oh! And Sifrin. Did you really hit the counter and say nya? You did. Yes. Sif. 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 Cat Sif. Cat Sif. <laughs> Cat Sif. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. Kitchen closet. You open it. From the egg key. Keychain dangling from shape like an egg. Hmm. That's an egg. An egg? Bonnie is making grabby hands. Ah, so the next key should be a broken egg, right? Our egg's important to the change belief somehow. Yeah! An intact egg and a broken egg. We... We're in the egg. Getting out of the egg change also means destruction, blah blah blah. Well, um, yeah, pretty much. No big pancakes without breaking a few eggs. It's omelets, bonbon. You're an omelet, sir. Terrifying rebuttal from the preteen. And, and, for every change something needs to break. Maybe changing yourself will hurt someone. Maybe changing means leaving a part of yourself behind. It's to remind us that before changing we must stop and think about what will be irreparably destroyed. But destruction is just a part of change, and we must accept it. Yeah. It'd be awful to keep yourself from becoming a person you feel comfortable with just because it would upset someone else. Like about garlic philosophy, this game does extended egg philosophy is fine, is it? If you tell me what garlic philosophy is, Ravain, maybe I'll like it a bit more. I'm just less of a fan of garlic philosophy when you ask me to draw it. <laughs> In latte art of all things. That's a harsher belief than I thought. Bonnie's still looking at the egg keychain. <laughs> Bonnie tried to take a bite of the keychain. <laughs> it's carved out of stone, Boniface. Maybe the keychain had a secret, madame. Uh-huh. Stupid crabbing rock. But he gives you back the key. Sticky. All right. Do they say the same thing about the crabs? <laughs> Gotta know. So, what's inside? Uh, looks like they were cooking crab. What? Ah! Crab? What's happening? Someone was cooking crab? In a house of changeable places? Food tasted like crab, but literally. Why would someone do this? I, uh, Adil looks at you with question marks in her eyes. Crab is so tasty. You shrug. I am very confused. Is this a Vogardian thing? Please don't tell me you eat crabs in Cowboy. I don't think I could handle it. No, not really, but we don't have such an aversion to them. Huh. 
Okay. Wait. Is it... Is this like dolphins? What about them? In Kabawe, we don't like dolphins. There's something about them being too smart. Are... Uh, crabs... smart? No, they're stupid. They don't even walk right. Crabs just look weird, I think. I've never actually thought about it. I thought it was like spiders. Every human thinks spiders look scary. <laughs> I was afraid of spiders. No, I'm a big strong man. Some crab facts. So crabs are weird and don't walk right, okay? And that inevitable. Uh huh. I still don't understand anything. You also still don't understand anything. <laughs> oh God, is weird. Crab fact. Thank you, Snow Wraith. Did you know that crabs walk fine? Thank you very much, game. Crabs can walk forwards and backwards and sideways if they want to. They just don't want to all the time. You jerks. You hear me? That's <laughs> just the kind of fact I was hoping for. I'm glad I could deliver. Stay hydrated, everyone. Especially if you do many voices at all times. Because you're a damn fool, I guess. <clears throat> uh, sure, I'll fight you. Why not? Ugh. I don't like fighting you specifically, though. Because you're a bit of a pain. Uh, alright. Oof, ow, my bones. Uh, your turn, Mirabel. Attack Branka. This is three on Amertum. Branka powers up the enemy. Be dead now, thank you. Okay, this should, yeah. That heals up Mirabel. Takes out this guy. Easy peasy. Even mostly just the delivery drivers, to be honest. That's fair enough. Whatever works for you, really. Hi there. Why don't you be dead now, Tristess? Tristess! You're doing the opposite of what I asked. Okay, I think Tristess is gonna die before we can get off a combo, so Mirabelle, you just heal yourself. Uh, hmm. You know, I want to make absolutely sure that Tristess dies before it can attack again. There we go. Easy peasy. The lack of, like, um, PP or SP or anything, like, for using your magic abilities is really helpful. <laughs> Are all the enemies just French words personified? I believe so. All, I think negative emotions or stuff linked to negative emotions to my understanding um, they're all sadnesses but there's just a lot of French words uh, throughout the game I believe like the city is called Dormont I think it's I don't know if maybe the developer is French possibly French Canadian uh, what's your deal uh, you're still you. That's a shame. Sparkle heal. Smash. Ooh. Rude. I was hoping that would finish you off before you got the chance to be a bastard. Hey, buddy killed one! Buddy killed a Tristess! Hell yeah! We're in and out. Excellent work, Bon. We're very proud of you. Okay. A very big rock. You can say from experience that a rock like this falling on you would kill you near instantly. <laughs> Reaching out, touch the light. Beautiful. Um, I guess we'll save. I don't know what items and experience we had at this point previously. I think this is probably among the highest we've had, though. I think this is some of the most fighting I've done. Hard to be certain, though. 
swamped. Uh, heal up. Use a bow. Use a bow. Give your turn to Odeal. Odeal. You murder this thing immediately, please. Thank you very much. I was born in France and moved to Canada. There you go. What up? Stess! Stop being faster than me. I really don't appreciate it. Um, give me one sec. <laughs> Why? Why not? Do you expect Snowy to have the answers? Uh, craft your turn. Odeal. Skizors. We done it. We breathe in and out. All right. Uh, let's glitch the sword. Ah, oh, look on the wall. There's nothing. It's just a adorable boring wall. You don't stumble this time, but you feel dizzy still. I thought the air around you warped and changed for a second. That's not scary at all. We didn't check the walk, actually. Maybe we should go back and check the walk. Uh, do I go back and check the walk? Can I be bothered? No. I think actually, on reflection, I probably cannot be bothered. Um, alright. Attack. Craft. Heal. Use a bow. Use a bow. Kill Tristesse. Use a bow. I said kill Tristesse. Not this. Hey, Bonnie killed another one. Cute. Um, <laughs> hang on. I've not taken into account Isabeau's running animation up till now. <laughs> or Bonnie's. Oh my god, that's amazing. Absolutely delightful. Ah, yeah. Don't do these things you're doing. I don't appreciate them. Super Sparkle Heal Mirabelle. Craft your turn. Deal. Craft three. Justice. Dead. Beautiful. Within and out. Isabeau is now level 46 and learned the craft skills so weak. Odile is now level 46. Mirabelle is not. Ugh. Still got another fight or so until she levels up. Key time. Uh, there's another mini boss coming up, isn't there? I think Sif is probably doing well enough on health. Though, nah, sod it. Let's try and get through this. Whoa, they got all mixed up. And I knew exactly where they were before and everything. What a shame. Uh, knife to meet you. Don't do that. Super Sparkle Heal, Sifrin. Ow. Rude. All right. How about you give your turn to Mirabelle? Mirabelle. This. Scissors three. Pen. Two cleaver by half, why not? Ah, oh, hell yeah, Bonnie. Okay. Oof. Oof, ow, Mirabelle's bones. Mirror bones. Oof. This little one's sturdy. Not anymore, though. <laughs> Mirabelle's now level 46. Hell yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. What's going on in here? Uh... Take some vials. Thank you very much. Can I take this stuff? 
Oh, there's the candles. She doesn't know how to craft candles. And like normal candles, seems crafted candles last longer and can change smells as times goes by. As times goes by? It was in the house of change. <laughs> the keys there must be huge. You have no idea, Fizzy. There's a pair of... You're getting used to this. Something was here before, but you always keep whatever weapons or armors you get through loops. Is the world rewriting itself when you look again? There's no glasses in there, but there are some supplies. Nice. Anything in this one? Filled with wax, candle making supplies. Smells nice. Alright then. So be it. A dresser with art books on top of it. You open the drawer. We found the broken egg key. The keychain dangled in from it, shaped like a broken egg. And was a drawer. Definitely not a something. <laughs> I don't remember what we did. Oh, paper's filled with sketches of naked people doing fun things. You look at them curiously. Oh my! Seen this before? Well, nah, definitely not. Oh, oh, so it's really not allowed. Why did Nick Sifrin saying it for you to realize? Friend lets me do things when you guys say no sometimes. And if even Fred says it's not allowed, then it must be something really not allowed. So I won't look. Well, good. Sifrin! What the crap did you let Bonnie do when we said no? Uh-oh. He let me drink some vodka once. Huh? What? Sifrin! You make sure to look like you're about to flee. I don't really get why Odile likes it, though. It's just like boring water. Still a great prank. Sorry, that sounds like an amazing practical joke to play on a kid, actually. It was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game's so good. So terrible, you can barely read what's on it. Uh, can I read these ones on the floor? No, seems not. Very well. On our way, then. Uh... I don't want to keep grinding until I get a level up, but I will save this set of stats as my best for this area, I guess. Uh, do you mind, Tristess? Do you mind? Be careful and to give children alcohol as well. Sometimes pretend to be drunk anyway. A child guessing what being drunk is like can be worse somehow. You're not wrong. <laughs> Welcome in, Molly. How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day. We are in the house of sadness. And in that house of sadness, I am playing in Stars and Time. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true and devastating. Anywho, uh, let's save our progress. Might as well just overwrite that one, I think. I don't think there's anything massively worthwhile. Feeling a bit sick? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Some sadness and in the game. Now, in the game, we're in the house of change. Well, okay. Key time! <laughs> Do we need to... No, I think that's still recorded our progress for the end of this section, right? The sadness! It seems to be guarding the rest of the house from us. Feel strong! Stronger than those we've seen before! Get ready, everyone! Boss fight, boss fight. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Big ball head. Big ball head! Wait, something's happening. Paper, excellent. That's perfect element for it to be aligned with right now. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a bot though. <laughs> Jam in hell, yes. And rightly so. Okay. Yes, you are only susceptible to scissors attacks right now. Okay. 
Your turn, Mirabelle. Attack. The Lamite. Deal. Scissors three. Oof. Oh, you would. You would do that just as I'm about to get a combo. You nerd. Alright, fine. Um, Make up the time. Let's speed everyone up a bit. Mirabelle, Artsy Silent Burst. Wait. Oh, it needs to be rock type. I'm I'm paying attention. Uh let's go with smash. And Oh, Odile didn't get another turn. Uh give your turn to an ally. Let's give our turn to Isabel then. Doofa doofa. Alright. Uh Super Sparkle Heal is a bow for now. I uh, can't give my turn away. Just guard with Sifrin. Uh I can do smash again. So let's Mirabelle can't away her turn. Let's boost attack. Oh. That's the one thing I didn't want to happen. Uh, okay. Revised KO ally restoring 6% of their HP. Let's do that then. Wait, hang on. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Stop being fast, little jerk. Uh, okay, guard. Hopefully, yeah. Grand Isabeau can get the combo in. How do you craft water with craft magic? That's craft is basically just magic in this world. Turn it up, uh, Isabeau. Ice plus heat. Uh, smash. Don't have rock three. Let's slow you down then. Because you are attacking far too frequently for my tastes. Thank you very much. Uh, let's heal up Isabel, I guess. Okay, we're on to paper now. Sadness changed its craft type. Unfortunately. Uh, can't give away my turn again. Jackpots revive fallen allies, do they not? You're right, they do. I forgot about that. Oh well, next time. Uh, you're currently... Hang on. Okay, only susceptible to paper. Ugh. That's like the worst element <laughs> for you to be doing right now. Only one man, welcome in. Yeah, I, I tend to do themed PNG tubers. the entire point of the jackpot tutorial. That was the entire point of part of it, at least. Okay. Yeah, in the in the moment, I was just thinking, like, well, if we do a jackpot attack when not everyone is up, it won't be as powerful. But yes, I do now remember that reviving is part of it. Um, give your turn to someone. Custom VTuber for Zelda. To be fair, the custom VTuber for Zelda is, was supposed to have other outfits. It's just the tunic's the only one I've actually finished as of yet. Uh, okay, Odile. Why don't you have a turn? Uh, still can't use that. Annoyingly. Can't get my turn away. Then 
getting real close to Majora's Mask there, Krem. Mm-hmm. I'm aware. I'm definitely not stressed. It's fine. Uh, right. Let's... Guess lower your attack. Yes, a bull looks cute and fragile. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Um... Still only weak to paper, which only one of our party members can do consistently. Okay. Go, Bonnie, go! Bonnie doesn't have time to care about, <laughs> about rock, paper, scissors. They just gotta whack stuff with their cooking equipment. Should be it. Hey, there we go. No, not quite. Oh god damn it. Okay, I guess we'll wait for it to be Odile's turn again. Since Odile is the only one that can currently do damage to this thing. Ridiculous. Okay, we did it. Six thousand experience. Hot dang. Learn the craft skill, buy one, get one, three! What's that do? Did we do it? Victory! Alright, so let's keep moving. What, is, what, is, uh, what does our new craft do? I wanna know. No. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, buy one, get one, three. Deals three scissors hits to one enemy. High chance of doing a critical hit. Excellent. Okay. Okay. I like it. Um, let's go heal up. Why not? <laughs> Something's keeping you from going back. That's why not. That's why we don't just go back and heal up. Battle screen gives huge earthbound and motherfuckers. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, very, very clearly inspired. This room feels different than the others, doesn't it? It's missing the threatening pressure the rest of the house has. Shall we take a little break then? N no! We should keep going and... What was that? Hmm. Uh, I think I'm hungry. <sighs> My time! My time! My time to be the leader! Why? Because it's snacks time, baby! Snacks are important to keep hunger and keep morale up. I learned that because I'm a growing kid. That sure is true. But do we have time to... Mira, let's take a break, all right? Even people blessed by the change god like you need to take a break sometimes. All right. What does Loop say? We'll find out soon, I suppose. You guys stay here. I got some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. Oh, I remembered something. Isabo, heads or tails? Huh? Uh, tails. Odile takes a coin from her pocket and flips it in the air. Flip, 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 flip. It fell on heads. <gasps> that was different. Heads? But last time, didn't it? Huh. Uh-uh, too bad. Interesting. You now owe me. We, we were betting? You now owe me a thousand. A thousand what? Books. Books? Oh, I can't believe this. Betrayed by a friend. We're not friends. We're associates. Our companions? Colleagues. Allies at best. Not even soulmates? I believe you've gone down to being an acquaintance now. No! What was the coin flip about, madame? Ah, well... I asked the favor tree to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favor tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it does. But that wasn't the best experiment to prove it. There is a 50-50 chance, after all. You don't believe you won thanks to the favor tree? Not really. You call me weird, but I don't think a tree can grant favors. Did she win on every loop so far? Uh, so we've only seen it one other time, but last time, Isabeau called, head, called Tails and it landed on Tails. Whereas this time he called Tails and it landed on Heads. So that's interesting, isn't it? 
that's something that's not necessarily consistent between loops. Madame Abdeel didn't care about what she was asking, so why would the favorite tree care, huh? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. Let's see Bonnie smile again. This is a time loop game, yes. So we are trying to get through this castle to defeat the king who has um, stopped time or has frozen people in time uh, across the country. But we, uh, Sifrin, the little, little person in the pointy hat, who is not a wizard, um, is currently stuck in a time loop. And thus far, our missions have come to have, we've not even reached the king yet, even though we've gone through the castle a few times. Or tried to. Because something's always got in the way, such as being crushed to death by a giant boulder. Such a big fan of time loops. It's, time loops are one of my favourite bits in storytelling. I don't know why, there's just something about them. Anywho, let's see Bonnie smile again. Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks! <laughs> Today, I have many snacks at your disposal. I have some plantain chips! Ooh, did you do this last lose not bananas to make them? Yes. Yes, I did. Veggie. Delicious and full of potassium. That's plantain chips. You all clap. Second snack is some boring but delicious cookies. Cookies! Great sales, bitch, Bon Bon. Boring but delicious. Cookies, the taste of home. What kind of home is boring but delicious? Sa, so, you're weird. <laughs> and for our third and final snack, we are proud to present... Uh... Some, uh... Onigiri. 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 You messed that one up on purpose. Yeah! I have some onigiris for everyone. One of those carbon rice balls, right? Yeah. Rice. I. Love. Rice. You and every other kid on this planet, Boniface. <clears throat> now, choose. Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You'd like. You had some onigiri last time. Let's go with the plantain chips. There you go! Bunny hands you a few handfuls of plantain chips. They're not bananas, but they're just as good. So, do you like it? Did I do a good job as snack leader? You nod, but prepare yourself for what comes next. Yeah, this is good. Mm-hmm. Uh. Um. You say very loudly. Thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal! Oh, this is so good! Mmm, so good, Bon Bon! I feel refreshed, invigorated, alive! Let's be an adult, because I don't like rice. <gasps> <laughs> the face again. Mmm, good food, yum yum yum. Yes! The result of the coin flip was different this time. So things related to chance are random? Good to know. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Beautiful. Oh, leave me be now. I need some alone time. I didn't mean to sni to snip through, to skip through that conversation. So stupid. We can't be friends. I be like being friends with your mom or your sister. Then which one am I? Your. I don't know. Um. I hope everyone's all right. People in the house? Yeah, well, they're most likely all frozen in time, aren't they? We haven't seen anyone yet, but maybe, maybe someone survived? Maybe the head housemaid managed to... Tell me a joke, Sifrin, please! And to get my mind off things. Joke time! We know this one doesn't work, Sifrin, you've got to try a different joke. I had a meeting with a plum today. A plum? Like the fruit? <laughs> yes, I mean, it was rueful. <laughs> you finished the joke quickly to make sure she wouldn't finish it herself. What? Oh, fruitful.
Cool. I guess that's funny. <laughs> she guesses? Failure. <laughs> I guess we all have rough days, don't we? Hey, Seth. Let me guess. Still hungry? I can see it on your face. Want half this cookie? He's about waves his last cookie at you. Yes. <laughs> yes, please, Mr. Amazingly Wonderful Amazing Wonderful Funny Buff, Isabel. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Isabel was so surprised by what you said he destroyed the cookie he was holding into a thousand crumbs. No! Not the cookie! Seth! You, you can't just say that! I really have the heart of a delicate maiden, you know? You have to be careful with me. Oh, guy. He's also devastated that the cookie was destroyed. You messed up becoming- I- that- I said this would happen, didn't I? I said that the only way to stop her preempting it was to ruin the timing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alright, let's go! Hoomst. Hoomst is in here. Uh, alright. So we had left, we come across the frozen person. No! Ring off in some folk because a rare wrench of time loops. I've not seen the um that episode, I'm afraid, so I can't really contribute to that. <gasps> People are just doing this to <laughs> People are just not liking rice to annoy Fizzy at this point, I think. <gasps> Is that someone from the house? They've been frozen by the king's curse. That's, that's another housemaiden! She Is she often helping with chores? I can't believe she's What was she like? Tell us a bit about her. Oh, she... She started working in the house before me, so she often had to teach me how to do basic things. Like what? Like... How to cut veggies without cutting my fingers too? Well! I know how to do it now! You go meow meow, cat's paw, can't cut my fingies meow! Cute! What? Cute! It's cute, right? That's how I remember. She taught me how to do it. She always helped bandage my hands after I hurt myself. Shaking her head, telling me to be more careful next time. She was such a nice person. She never hurt anyone. The king, why would the king do this? I can't even do anything to save her. She's been out of the curse for too long. I can't reverse it. I, so. I'll, I'll tell you this, I'm only one man. I wouldn't take too seriously anything Fizzy says. Fizzy likes to <laughs> be contrarian. <laughs> oh, my bones. Known goofer. Known goofer Fizzy Bear. And the king is powering the curse. So, if we manage to beat him, everyone should go back to normal. But every new floor, the sadnesses are getting stronger. At some point, we might end up being frozen in time ourselves. If it happens. I... I don't have the power to save anyone from being frozen yet. But... but I'm close! I'm close to getting it! I swear! I don't know how close you actually are, Mirabelle. I get the feeling you're maybe like, level 50 or something is when you learn it. But then we're going to need to give you the equipment so that you can use that skill before you need- before you technically would know it. I heard that Fizzy is always serious and doesn't even know the meaning of the word duplicity. Well, Ravain, you would say that. <laughs> you are also a known goofer. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sounds like you should fight some sadnesses and get some experience to make sure Mirabelle can protect you during battle. Oh, I don't know if we fought you before. It's the tres. <laughs> I, at this point, I'm not holding out any hopes for Silk Song happening. I'm just gonna treat it as a pleasant surprise if it ever does come out. Um, all right, this one's paper. Let's do buy one, get one three. Ooh, hang on. 
So is this gonna give us three scissors along the... Ah! I was hoping that was gonna give us, give us three scissors attack. This is the guy bent over with his two butt cheeks weeping. I mean, that's kind of what it looked like to me. It's troubling, whatever it is. Um, all right, let's keep it up, I suppose. Uh, your turn, Mirabelle. Uh, Mirabelle, just attack. Uh, scissors three, and that's gonna kill it. Breathe in and out. Yeah, I think it. I think it mostly is in the hands that gives that impression. Um. All right. I don't remember if we want to go left first or right, or if it matters. So this is Mirabelle's plan, and we know that now. So do we not laugh at it? This plant looks tiny and cute. I guess. No, it's not. No, no, I see what Sif means. There's a certain charm to it. It's cute. I hope it grows up to be big and strong. It's better. <laughs> you hear me, plant? I believe in you. Grow big and strong. Aww. You smile. Aww. That's so cute. In a previous loop, we all insulted this plant for being tiny and dying, and then we learned it was Mirabelle's plant. So this time we can set the tone going pleasantly. Which is so sweet. Mirabelle's gardening classmate, frozen in time. Oh, that's... that's one of the house's cooks. She was in the gardening class with me. Assuming all of the main characters are aware of the loop? No, just, uh, Sifrin. Just the one we're controlling directly. All of, at least as far as we know. It may be the case that at least... I, I'm suspecting Odile, the person with glasses, maybe knows something about the loops, hence the thing with the coin flip. But I'm not certain. We have yet to uncover that in the story. She was in the gardening class with me. She was taking the class to learn how to grow tasty vegetables. She often made soup with the veggies she made. <laughs> Once she said she needed some help breaking apart a turnip she grew to make it into a soup, so we told her to bring it to class and we'd all help her. And next class, she found the biggest turnip I'd ever seen. And she had trouble even fitting it through the door. And we spent the entire class trying to cut it. It was that big! <laughs> How's the turnip? Oh, it tasted awful. But since she's a cook and really particular about taste, you had to act as if it was delicious. Thank change I was taking an acting class too. Try your best to pass through the tight space between your allies, the tables, and the wall. As you pass through, you realize, not for the first time in this situation, that everyone unconsciously makes sure to not touch you any more than necessary. It's not the best feeling, but there must be a reason they're not touching you. So you leave it alone. Oh no. <laughs> We're noticing things. You ready for it this time? We we'll find looking at old spots like this from now on. There's some gardening books about rare and powerful plants. None of them catch your eye. Oh yeah, we got a new pair of scissors, didn't we? Did we equip them or did we go with our own daggers? Boost attack lowers attack speed. Mm. Nah, I quite like having Sifrin up front because they can give away their turn to others if needs be. Okay, so that's the correct path to go on. I don't remember what's down to the right. Let's go have a look. <clears throat> was there a mini boss? I feel like there was. I feel like we came across another thing that gave us um uh, whatchamacallit, mm, a tear pendant or charm or whatever. Who are you? Oh no, your anxiety. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run away from you. You're bad news. I think he's got the touch of Earth's autism. I suspect maybe, yes. That's at least part of the reasoning. A sadness! Another weird one. Like the one that gave us the crust? 
Wait, Boniface? What do you mean by we? N no time, madame! Let's get ready! So I'm wondering, because the other one gave us a tear charm or whatever that we used to go down to the kitchen that we don't actually need to go to, do we maybe at one point need to start saving up these charms to get through like a long corridor of these? That's going to be my guess. Uh, okay, let's do... Mm. I won't get one three. Why not? Okay, neutral. So this thing is scissors. So it's weak to rock. Was there a key in the kitchen? Oh yeah, there was. There's the egg key. You are entirely right. So never mind then. <clears throat> uh, okay. Yeah, we want rock attacks. Rock three, why not? Ah, that did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Oh, Bonnie. You tried your best. Uh, turn it up! Isabo, take another turn. Because you can do it for free. Uh, Mirabelle, you heal up Odile, who is dying. Oof. Uh, let's give ourselves some more speed. Slow you down. Let's guard. Let's go for the jackpot attack, I think. Oh, Bonnie. It's probably for the best that you missed, because... I didn't see it. I wouldn't have wanted you to defeat this before we got a chance to. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Had to get that crit. Oh well. Rolls level 47. Learn the craft skill, lovely moving cure. Ooh, Mirabelle just learned a new skill. Oh, thank change. I'll be able to help out more. What does this skill do? We got the memory of lovely moving cure. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your housemaid will be able to use Lovely Moving Cure as a skill, even if she isn't at level 47. It's a skill that cures Frozen for one ally. It's very useful that she knows this. Yes, that is extremely, extremely useful. Hey, another crest! We should be careful about where we use this one. Or we could be reckless. What then, Odile? The door's locked. He'll shift like a hand in the paper position. Ah! Rude. Uh, I don't really want you to be here, though. I could definitely do without your presence, if I'm honest with you. Return to Mirabelle. Oh, there's another attack. Okay, this thing's not surviving until jackpot, so it doesn't matter. Very well. Let's move on. Not gonna fight you. Ah! I guess I am gonna fight you. Oh, I remember you. You're fun in concept, but I don't want to have to fight you, frankly. <laughs> to be entirely honest with you. Alright, Odile. Why don't you just attack? That's a silent burst. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> so rude. What was that about? Uh, yes. It's not really helping anyone. Don't do these things you're doing. Oh my god. This is dreadful. 
don't know that Mirabelle... Okay, let's give our turn to Mirabelle because she might have paper again. And if not, this will at least speed up her getting to paper again. <sighs> turn it up. Mirabelle! Still no? Oh, I see. So giving away your turn doesn't lower cooldown. That's frustrating. Let's try and run away, I think. Okay, that was no fun at all for anyone involved. Well, at least not for me. I don't know about you guys. I do know at least one of you likes it when I suffer, apparently. <clears throat> okay. Healed up. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah, let's save. Because I don't think we've saved in a hot minute. Um... <laughs> Is it me? I don't know, Tony. You tell me. Okay, Mirabelle, can you... Heal them. The housemaiden frozen in time. She looks scared. Mirabelle? Can you... Can you do... Can you use your... Use the... Do the... But... You said... Okay. I guess you actually can't use it on that person then. Even though you said you could. You lied! You lied, Mirabelle! Okay, what's your deal? How terrible are you? Give our turn to Isabo. Because he can do rock attacks. To heal up yourself. Let's do rock three. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. All right, so this time, oh, this time we know we can find the key in the drawer. So this is the office of the head housemaid in the house of Dormon. She's wonderful. She manages the house and makes sure everyone is happy and fulfilled. She organizes a lot of events too. She's also a great crafter. She always creates wonderful items that make everyone's lives better or easier even. She taught me so much. Most of the craft skills I know I learned from her. She was the one, wasn't she? The one who was supposed to. Yes. And she was the one who was supposed to defeat the king. But the king was too strong and attacked out of nowhere, and now... I don't know what happened to her. When I fled the house, the king might have already... Don't worry, Mira. She's that strong. I'm sure we'll find her safe and sound eventually. Yeah. Positive. I have to stay positive. I'm gonna search very thoroughly this time. Oh, stars. There was a key hidden in there. Oh, dang. It was taped to the underside, so you missed it before. You blinding idiot. You found the rock key. The keychain dangling from its shape like a hand in the rock position. How fitting. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the rock key is located. Uh, was there anything else to get in this room? Closet. It's full of boring administrative papers. Some notes about the king. The head housemaid must have been looking more for more information about him. Why do you even call the king the king? Vogard isn't a monarchy. Isn't King just a title he chose? Yeah, but he chose it. Calling him something else would be rude. Yeah, that's just basic manners. Just basic manners, y'all. Okay. Oh. I should maybe turn on auto run, huh? So then I don't accidentally keep skipping conversation. There's nothing important in there, right? So this is fine? What a waste of time. At least we didn't get squashed, though. Uh, I'm gonna turn on auto run. Just for now, at least. Maybe I'll turn it off again later. But 
I want to not keep skipping through dialogue. Key time! Insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. <gasps> Stuff we've not seen yet. Someone frozen in time. <gasps> this is... I don't know. I've seen them around sometimes. I think that's someone's partner? Someone's bonded partner, even. Look at their earrings. Aren't they bonding earrings? You look at them. The left ear has a beautiful dark dangling earring. And the right ear, a simple transparent one. Are those bonding earrings? You're not familiar with what that is. The earrings have different but complementary designs. How romantic. I wonder which half is this? I feel like the clear one represents them better. So maybe that's the one their partner made. Think we'll see their partner somewhere in the house? Yes. They might have been looking for each other when the king attacked. If we managed to beat the king, they'd go back to normal and look for their partner. Let's start running, trying to find them. Flower petals in their wake. Then, they'd see each other from across a hallway, eyes locking. They'd take one step forward, hesitantly, wondering if this is real. And then... And then they'd dribble and break and break their nose! And their partner, seeing the blood, would faint in horror. And then they'd feel so bad they made their partner faint, they would exile themselves in shame! Ah, yes. How romantic. It's not! Stop crushing our dreams! What's a bonding earring? I suppose it's not very important, but... Someone looked at their partner, frozen in time. <laughs> oh, the other partner is the king. What a twist! Uh, okay, you are presumably rock-themed. You are definitely rock-themed. Very well. Uh, Odile, why don't you get a turn? Why not? Ouchie wouchie. Um, Philip Ziffrin. She's a bow. Just murder this fool. Thank you very much. Breathe in and out. Get some experience. What a wonderful time. It's a pillar. That sure is a broken pillar. I mean, I'm just saying, look out for traps. The bookcase is filled with theatre scripts. You gently touch the back of a Vogardian comedy you remember liking. Ah, oh, don't worry, Sif. You'll be able to see some plays soon. So there's... There's something I've always wondered. Miss it, Bunny? Well, um... You know that stage play Fred brought us to before we got the last orb to open the house? In it, the main characters... The two men kissed on the mouth, right? Ah! Oh, gems. She don't want to hear this. And so, um... And say Dilk Dong in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Duly noted, thank you. The people kiss on the mouth in plays. They don't really kiss, right? They have some transparent paper in between their in between so their lips don't touch, right? Yeah. What? What? Uh what? <laughs> yeah, Bonnie, they definitely have paper in between. Huh. Yeah, I knew it! No one would ever kiss someone in the mouth in the play! Not in front of everyone! <laughs> Not in front of everyone! <laughs> oh, that's really good. Boniface, this is why you're my favorite. <laughs> oh, Bonnie. Well, Gunningham plays are okay, but you really like Potterian plays. Good to know. <laughs> Suggested a demise. Saying Dilk Dong in the Nintendo Twitch chat. Thank you, Swan. <laughs> Bookcase is filled with various novels. How to Not Make a Fool of Yourself, A Journey, Tick, Soul Emperor the Fourth, The Soul Emperoring, The Soul Emperoring, and The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issues 40 to 48. Issue 48? I should remember this number. Well, we only need to find the most recent one, right? And we've already found a number higher than 48. I think the highest we found is 51? Oh no, Molly, you should have been careful <laughs> playing around near the bottom that bottomless pit. Someone frozen in time. That's the librarian! Are they a good one, Mira? Oh, oh yeah. They always had good recommendations if you're looking for something. And they have a sixth sense for knowing exactly what kind of book you'd like to read at any given time. 
They're the one who recommended the cursing of Shattered Castle to me. And, well, to everyone else in the house. Oh, that book series you're a fan of. Yeah! I'm incredibly thankful to them for that. Uh -huh. It's a good series, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. I'll make you read it one day, Madame Odile. Uh-huh. Try to convince the others instead. Mm-hmm. It's a... That was romance, right? Yeah! S sold? <laughs> I thought that was so ID. I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> sold! Hell yeah. <laughs> A list of books that have been checked out of the library. Odile is looking intently at the list. Why are you looking intently at the list, Odile? What's so interesting about the list, Odile? Hmm? What's your research about? I mean, yeah. You do you do still die within the pit. I'm just saying. A pile of lists of books that have been checked out of the library. A book that seems a little too heavy for the table it's on. <laughs> so AD stands for so intensely dickish. This book is massive. It's called The Complete History of Fishing. <gasps> I'll catch that goddamn fish yet. Hmm. Odile takes the book with two hands and hits the table with it. Do that again. Please. Crab, yeah. Indeed. I'll take this one. Oh, Deal got the heavy book. She puts it in her pocket to equip later. No! I want to read that book. I need to learn. I need to learn how to catch the damn fish. The fishing book. Fishing all it! It's called ichthyology, and I am not studying it. Whoa. Can I... Can I... Oh, deal. Oh, deal. Real quick, though. Can I, can I use... Can I use your... Can I use your book? Boost attack, but plus Get one dry. cooldown to all craft skills. Oof. Cooldown is honestly my biggest pain point right now. So I don't know that I want to do this. Like, Odile's damage output isn't the problem. And cooldown, I think, would be worse. Also, Boring Press Introvert, welcome in. How are you doing? I'll probably leave that for now. But we'll see. I, I should probably start using some of this stronger equipment sometime soon. But I don't know. The fights aren't too horrible just yet. This all feels different somehow. You don't see any switches or anything, so you leave it alone. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Curiouser and curiouser. Deal won't tell people their field research because it's economics. Craft is just a sidekick. This bookcase is filled with notebooks of all shapes and sizes. They look kind of out of place here. You point to them and look at Mirabelle. Oh, they're diaries, Sir Friend. Diaries in a library. Oh yeah, you guys do that in Dormont too. It's popular in Siobhan as well. So, so you know how our belief encourages change, right? Sometimes when people change, they might not feel any attachment to the people they were before. Or they might want any trace of who they were to just disappear from their sight. And so some houses let it widely known that you can give away items that remind you too much of who you were. Like diaries! But those items... Aren't they given away to be disposed of? Most items are, but diaries in particular are usually kept by houses. It's common knowledge, though. I personally find it weird. Even if I change that much, I wouldn't want people to read my thoughts. More of a gesture, right? Letting go of your past self. Names and any obvious signifiers are erased by the house anyway. But mostly, it's about history. Isn't it fun to be able to pick up a diary written by someone a very long time ago? See big historical events from their perspective? More than giving away a part of who you were, I think a lot of people actually give their diaries away so it's like, Look, Mom, I wrote a book that's in the library! Huh. I can understand that, then. Huh. The idea of anyone reading your deepest thoughts, even years in the future, completely removed from you. Gross. Again, oh god, is weird. But also, you love drama, so you happily pick the gaudiest, sparkliest diary you see. Oh, this one looks fairly recent. We could 
read a little bit. Like, a tiny bit. We do not have time. Is what I would usually say. But I'd also love to think about boring, mundane, everyday problems for a bit. Dear diary, save us from thinking about our problems. Oh, pick a page. One page, and then we're going. Uh, I'm reading again? Okay. Um. Everyone holds around her. Mirabelle takes a deep breath and opens it straight in the middle. Okay. Mom told me to clean my room today. I hate cleaning my room. My room isn't even dirty. Why doesn't she understand? Ugh. Also, Dad noticed no one can say the name of the island north of here anymore. I tried to say it yesterday, and I got like the weirdest headache for hours. I might trick my friends into saying it tomorrow. The rest are just doodles of a little girl laughing uproariously. <laughs> Cute. Ah, the island north of Vogard. I remember when it happened. Well, remember isn't the right word, is it? We all just know something happened. An entire stretch of land disappearing from people's minds doesn't happen often, does it? I think, I think my village was really close to it. My sister said it was all everyone could talk about for weeks. So frightening. I'm glad that whatever happened, she didn't get caught up in it. Oh, yeah. Still, a country's name. What was this name again? Uh, I think it was something like, don't say it, crap. <laughs> Interesting diary entry. That's got to have something to do with that book's title that we can't read. For sure. It was fascinating. It was! And I want to know more! <laughs> book is filled with books about the House of Change. So, the House of Change is the name of the belief, but the house is the name of the place? And then there's more than one house in Vogard. And a house is where people live. Such a confusing language. N no, it's not so bad. It makes sense. Hmm. If you'd like to know more about the House of Change. Yes, recommend me a book. But let's be quick about it. Okay, okay. Yes, all right. I think you should try this one. The life-changing magic of changing yourself. This one is a little abstract, but it is all about our beliefs and the change God. Living while striving for change within ourselves while keeping our ever-changing God in our thoughts. This book explains pretty well the belief that a lot of the people of Vogard live by. So how House of Leaves is this going to get? I don't know, but I can't wait. <laughs> hmm. Interesting that you only have one deity. Easy to keep track of, I suppose. Oh yeah, what do you have in Kabue then? We have gods, spirits, expressions. The nuance gets a little lost in Vogardian. Expressions for everything. So how many expressions do you have then? A dozen? A few thousand. So many! Do you have to keep track of all of them? Of course not. You only have to pray to the ones that you need. So for me, the expression of search, the expression of writing, the expression of creator craft, and lately, the expressions of battle and victory, I suppose. Cool. That's pretty neat. I hope the expressions in the change card bless us in our journey. It's filled with books about the house of change. Because it's filled with random books, from novels to picture books to massive research essays. You see this side of the bookcase shine slightly. There must be a key somewhere. Maybe inside one of the books? Which book should you examine? Steppy steppy cooking. <laughs> Effort, the key to meaningful change. Running from your problems. <laughs> you open the book? Yep. Inside the book titled Effort, the key to meaningful change, there's a key. Pretty on the nose. You found the paper key. Keychain dangling from it is shaped like a hand in the paper position. Put the key in your pocket. You now know where the paper key is located. Excellent. Believe it or not, this side of the bookcase is irrelevant. <laughs> bookcase filled around the books, from novels to picture books to master research essays. Let's look at Steppy Steppy Cooking. You open the book. The book falls open on a recipe for some kind of Capuan dumplings. Dumplings! Ah, huh, those are called gyozas, Boniface. Gyozas! How do you make them? Please stop screaming. Sorry! Sorry. How do you make them? Bonnie looks intently at the recipe. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's crabbit easy. 
Our tiny little adorable chef's at it again. What? Oh, sorry. We can go. I can look at it later. No, it's fine. You might as well look at it now. Okay! My sister, she... <laughs> what about your sister, Bonnie? It, it doesn't matter. Here we go now. He will look sadly at Bonnie and try to keep moving. Okay, but what's our last book, though? <laughs> running from your problems. You open the book. This book seems to be how to get a better running posture and better endurance. An Amadeo could use this book, huh? What does that mean? Just that you're not very fast at all. And you get tired easily, too. Maybe the kids could stop running everywhere you go. Hmm, Sifrin. Quickly look away from her glare. It's okay, Deal. I can teach you how to run good. Yeah, madame. Take lessons for the kid who puts their arms straight behind them while running. I want to see you do it. It is a very interesting way to run, Bonnie. But why? Now the kid in Babu said running like that was aerodynamic. Aerodynamic? I don't know that Vogadian word. Me neither. What does it mean? Oh. Uh, it means... It means the wind doesn't matter and I can go fast. It's aerodynamic. Ah! Do you mean ergonomic? Do I? I hope not. That's not how you use that word. It's not? Nope. But running like that makes me faster. Does it? It does. Okay. So Neil should run like this too. I'd rather not. Ah! <laughs> I love them all. There's a crumpled poem on the ground. You pick it up. You got the crumpled poem. Put the poem in your pocket along with your souvenirs. What's the poem say? Show me the poem. Crumpled poem. You were there all along, but still you return home. Not sure you like this poem for reasons you don't dare think about. It all feels different somehow. I don't see any switches or anything. Fine. I like that bunny narrowed to runs. It's great, right? <laughs> Look at them go! They do that. Ah. Blur, unfortunately, when the screen isn't moving, but still. Um, alright. You're being a little jerk. And I don't want you to, so I'm gonna send a deal to kill you. Easy peasy. Breathe in and out. 300 experience received. If it was carved in stone, it would be a poem of granite. <sighs> that one took me a second, Tam. God. <laughs> I'm not happy with what you've done here today. <laughs> I can't say I respect it. Second time, the first one's jokes are bad enough. Uh, all right, let's let's just go for it. So the paper door was through here, and then the scissors door is the main one for this floor. Hey, do we leave me alone? Uh, oh no! Can't be mad at me, I'm unwell. We can be mad at you, but we aren't entirely. Mostly in jest. Uh, Mirabelle, uh, mm. Cure you up. Let's give Mirabelle another turn. Might as well. Hey, don't ingest a poem, Granite Crab. Why do I do this? Why do I stream with you? <laughs> Goddamn fools hanging out. Oh, because I love it. That's right. Because it's a great time and it helps my brain. Granite is radioactive, so you eat it. You can breathe radon gas like a fucked up dragon. 
<laughs> I'll t <laughs> I'll take that on board, I guess. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Uh oh. Two rows of tears. But only one crest! So we have to decide which way to go, huh? Why don't we... How about this way? Why this way? Man, man's intuition. Ah. That's stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> I vote this way. Why this way? You're telling me there's a third goofy here? I think basically everyone's a goofer. For better or worse. <laughs> Why this way? Smart kid's intuition. And also, it's the way Zah didn't choose, so... Mm -hmm. I'm with the kid. It's been a while since we teamed up, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah! We're the, uh, opposite sides of the Age Spectre Allies. <laughs> it was opposite sides of the Age Spectrum Alliance, but I understand there's big words in there. Opposite sides of the Age Spectrum Alliance! Aww. Um... Yeah. Rebel, my friend, my sister from another mother, please. No, bells with us. Um, um, I, I'm with Isabel. Yes, Bell and Bow, Beauty Alliance. Beauty Alliance. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? Do you guys spend the day looking pretty? How dare you? Also, yes. Just look at us. <laughs> Isabel strikes a Poe, and Mirabel follows suit a beat later. They both look striking. Ew. We have all chosen a side. So that only leaves. Oh no. Zephrin. You're the tiebreaker. You hate being the tiebreaker. Can't we just get along? Nope. They insulted the Beauty Alliance. All that's left is war. Oh. Unless you bring peace to the alliances by choosing a side. The only one that can bring peace to this land. Oh no. <laughs> Sadly disposing of my granite pillow. <laughs> a lot of buildings I've seen had to leave radon gas pumps installed in the basement because enclosed spaces caused a build up. Oh no. Oh god. Um. Huh. Oh, it's a tough one. I reckon. So. The Age Alliance is based on being the opposite ends of the spectrum, right? So if I go there, then that ruins the conceit of the Alliance. But, do we reckon the Cipherin considers themselves beautiful? <laughs> Make a poll about it. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. All right, let's do it, why not? We got one minute once I start the poll to let me know if you vote, we go with Age Alliance, which is to say uh, Odile and Barney, or we're going with the Beauty Alliance, which is to say Isabeau and Mirabelle. Poll starting now. You got one minute. Let me know. And if you get a tie, I'm gonna cry. So, you know. <laughs> that you'll have that on your conscience. <laughs> Maybe because I think Sif's gonna get roasted. <laughs> Izzy votes Izzy Bo. I mean, Izzy Bo is pretty great. Roasted. Roosted. Roa stayed. Restored. <laughs> Make the poll tie. Crab's gonna cry. Make the poll smile. <laughs> You've passed the trial. Alright. It looks like beauty has won it unless three people vote in the next four seconds or so. Beauty it is! Alright. Beauty Alliance. Yes! We will not forget such a terrible slight, Sifrin. We will not forget! We will not forgive! 
And may you eat only potatoes for the rest of your life! May your house fall down on your horrified face. Yeah! What she said! There's a devastatingly high chance that will happen. Are we kidding, Sifrin? Don't look so distraught. I'm not kidding. I'll put potatoes in Fred's pockets. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them. I'll help you later. <laughs> you assume a guarding stance. Bonnie immediately assumes <laughs> an attacking stance. All right, kids. Let's use this crest then, shall we? <laughs> I love them so much. They're all so good. <laughs> Let's go. Do we know how old Sif is? Uh, I don't think so. I think so. Bonnie's the only child. Do we have anything in their profiles? No. Um, I think Bonnie's the only one who's an actual child, but Odeal is older than the rest of them. So I think, like, probably these three are, like, maybe early 20s. And then I'm not sure how old Odeal will be. And I just realized that Isabeau has sleeves. You're right. No deal is 22. <laughs> this whole time? This whole time? <laughs> I just figured he was written and had completely naked buff arms. The door is locked tight. Look one of those weird word locks. It's to storage room. See the sentence to storage room allowed. Nothing happens. Worth the try. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Very cool that the game has pronouns. So you know how to pronounce the names. You look at it. Isabeau sees you look. You ever seen a lock like this before, Sif? We opened one earlier, Isabeau. Pay attention. Special kind of Vulgarian lock. Instead of key, it needs specific words to open. Words? Yeah, you just need to say the words aloud. I think you call it a, uh, an open phrase? An open phrase. Fascinating. So what is the phrase for this lock? I do not know. Ah. So it's locked. Yeah. Yahoo. <laughs> what, if, what if the open phrase was Yahoo, though? Say the word change aloud. Nothing happens. Worth a try. We didn't have any op other options, right? Ideas. <laughs> They're all just brilliant. I love them all. Oh, okay, so now we can hold shift to walk instead. Ah! Okay, I've learned an important lesson. Walking into the tears doesn't automatically reset the loop. You have to actively interact with it. Um, okay. Let's turn it up with... Odile. Wahoo! A change ornament. Some notes on safety. Beware of rock. Simple to the point. I am worried by what else it might be. Two of them seem to be missing. Could they be for various traps in the house? Uh oh. Someone frozen in time. Oh, him. Oh. Oh. Please tell us more. N no, that's uh. Sorry, I mean. This man is another house maiden. He's a scholar. He's working really hard on a project. It... Boring. Why don't you like him? Does he be to you? Should we do something to him? Please don't! He's a... He is... A human man. That exists. Okay, listen. I think he stole one of my priceless issues of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Oh no! A thief! No! Forget I said that! I have no concrete proof! But... But my issue disappeared shortly after he came to my dorm room to ask me something, that's all. A thief. Mm hmm. Look through his pockets. There's a book inside. <gasps> the title reads The Cursing of Chateau Castle. Issue 3. You wave it around. Well, what do we have here? So I was right! 
Mirabel got back her priceless copy of the Kissing of Chateau Castle. She angrily stuffs it in her pocket. Victory! It's back! It is! Sorry for bad-mouthing him while he's frozen in time. He is a very talented scholar also. This is fun, Mirabel. You should show your ruthless side more often. N no! <laughs> There's something on the counter. We found the scissors key. Nice. Keychain dangling from his shape like a hand in the scissors position. Put the key in your pocket. You now know where the scissors key is located. So... Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh, hang on. We're gearing up to something. Rock, paper, scissors. It's good old basic rock, paper, scissors. Makes sense. You all nod. It makes sense. <laughs> Some carving wood. Looks like someone liked to carve during their break. You wouldn't know where your own carving tools went. A chair. There's only one, so it would be rude to sit down. <laughs> Lisa Faith, welcome in. What if I choose gun? We haven't learned that one yet, but if it comes up, my god. <laughs> we'll, we'll be unstoppable. <laughs> a book about traps and how they work. Some of the pages are bookmarked. Does it say anything about the traps you've seen so far? Traps, traps. Ah! One of the bookmarks is labelled Death Corridor. This is where you first died, but you're still not sure why the trap activated when it did. You read the page. The type of trap in the Death Corridor is apparently called... If you feel safe, it activates O trap. Oh, Seth, that's one hell of a disgusted face you're pulling. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Efficient. So, well, you see, now, now we run into an into an infinite problem, where. In future loops, because we know that, we just have to make sure not to feel safe when we go through there. And then we don't even need to disable the trap. But if, because we know that that's how it works, then we'll feel safe because we know that we have a surefire way to stop it activating, which will activate it. So then we have to feel scared that it... Wait. Ah! <laughs> so the scissors key is down there. So I wonder if there's also a scissors key north? Or if we just... If you guys selected the right one, fortunately. For getting to the... Uh, for advancing in this area. Well, I guess we'll try north on the next loop. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Rude. Always feel scared. I do. <laughs> it's not a great feeling. Don't do these things that you do. Um, alright. Tell your friends to make sudden noises if you cross the corridor. Well, here's the question, though. Would they always make the same noises at the same times, though? Because then you'd start getting used to the noises and you'd be able to anticipate them. And then they wouldn't be scary. The game raises so many questions. Breathe in and out. 300 experience. Nice. <clears throat> I'm scared of getting used to the noises. What if you just grow numb to everything? Motherfucker was waiting. That motherfucker is the worst. I do not like him anymore. As I say, I like his concept. It's great. It's neat. He's a jerk. Everyone was healed. Your eyes, craft skills, and experience have been recorded for this location. I will save my progress. Thank you. Oh, we're coming up on having to restart from save one, though. You feel safe when you're numb to everything? It's a good question. Because you don't feel scared. But I don't know that you feel safe. Key time! You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Oh. Oh no. <gasps> Strong sadness is again. Nah, we'll be fine. Let's go, go, go! <gasps> okay. 
two sadnesses. Get ready, everyone. About more attacks. Oh no! Capital gives you. Oh, I'm already so scared. Okay. Maybe we should buff everyone real quick. Oh, I can only slow down one of them. I'm gonna slow you down. Okay, right. Let's attack you. Wonderful. Ooh. Oh, Bonnie. You tried your best. Super Sparkle Heal. No deal. Oh no! We've been weakened. I don't know what that means. Don't do it. <laughs> it's stressful. No Dilk Dong on the Nintendo. I'm astonished. Uh, okay, your turn. Let's go with... Sifrin, maybe. Yeah, let's go with Sifrin. If we do two cleaver by half, it deals damage to both of them. Still only counts as one. Good to know. I figured it would, but nice to have it confirmed. Okay. Uh, turning around Rondo. On the back small, why not? Come on, bows up the enemy. Don't do that! Actually, it's rude of you to do that. I think. The short head one is doing something! Oh. oh crab! It killed the other one! And healed itself in the process. <laughs> Terrifying. Luckily, <laughs> we were gearing up to a, an effective all-out attack. Uh, Alright, let's call you weak. A battement. Or let's, I guess, look cute and fragile. Uh, never mind, Bon, you tried. Let's examine, why not? It killed the other one! No! Oh, young love dashed into pieces! <laughs> this is what love does to you. Stop acting like a jaded old woman, madame. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Peeper, I guess. Uh. I'll just keep going for the effective type rather than building up a combo right now. I won't get one. Three! Rude. <clears throat> uh, Isabeau, give a turn to Sifrin. Sifrin, knife to meet you. <laughs> Beautiful. You breathe in and out. 7,000 experience received. Sifrin's now level 50. Mirabelle's now level 48. Isabeau's now level 48. Odile is now level 48. We won! Alright. One last floor to go. <gasps> Just one floor to go? Why, this game will be over in no, no time, I'm sure. I'm certain of it. Mm-hmm. No more twists and turns from this game, I am willing to believe. Mm-hmm. <gasps> There's something through that door, though. This room feels safe too, doesn't it? I mean, there's something in the doorway, but sure. Break time? Maybe not. We might still have a lot to... What was that? It was my tummy, sorry. That was so loud. How hungry are you for it to be this loud? I don't get this swell by skipping meals. Anyway, let's take a break for now. Bon bon, how much longer till the snacks are done? Five minutes! Okay, take your time! Uh, hey, everyone. Hey, hey. Hmm? So, um... We haven't brought it up yet, so, um... I have a question. Uh, a secret adult conversation for adults no kids allowed? Do you not want Boniface to hear? Yeah. If we're sure they won't hear, then yeah. Say at normal volume. 
Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like. Me. Mm. I'm not sure which of these is most likely to get a rise out of Bonnie. If they are indeed eavesdropping. I feel like tie their shoe, they're most likely to accidentally just like. Uh, reflexively look down at their shoes at least. Let's give it a go. Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe. <laughs> Tony and redeemed crab face. You give a thumbs up. Oh, gems, they actually did forget. Someone better tell them later. Good. Um, okay. So, if any of you bites the dust, what should we do with your body? Um, <laughs> what? Yikes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask. I, I know it's not the best moment. Most of us have different beliefs, don't we? So, well, in case, change forbid, one of us dies today, and the others are able to honor your body, how should we do it? Like, Madame Odile, is there a Kabuan way, or...? No, it's... it's a valid concern. Well, in Kabue, you'd burn the body and take the ashes to a gem maker to transform them into a diamond. But that won't be easily feasible, will it? You'd change to a diamond? Hardcore. But if that's not doable, you can donate my body to any house in Vogard. I can't ask that with Bonnie around, because Bonnie will just want to eat it. If Vogard is saved, I'm sure they'd have a use for the body of a saviour. Well, the House of Change recommends burying your body under a tree, so our body can nurture the nature around it. Be part of change and all that. Is it the same for you, Isabeau? I mean, I'd be dead, right? So I don't really care that much about later. For, well, Bonnie, what should... We won't allow Bonnie to die. Over our dead bodies. Even if we're about to die, there are ways to use craft to make sure Bonnie will survive. So, no matter what? You will not. That's something you all agree with. Turn me into a holy relic. Pray to me, Kravis! <laughs> What about you, Sifrin? Will there even be a time this will apply to you? You won't die for good, so it doesn't matter. But... Hmm. <laughs> Throw my ashes to the sky. Oh, this is new to me. Is it perhaps common where you come from? <laughs> Quink. Hmm. Sorry for asking. Hey, we're done talking, cuz... It's stacks time, baby! No, oh, it's a serious business- It's stacks time, baby. Oh, it's a serious business snack time. I'm listening. Stack times are always serious business, dubby. Today I have... Um... Some Madelines! Madelines? Thank you for making some Boniface. Hmm. I also have... Some pineapple slices. They have some sugar on them. Just plain pineapple slices? With sugar. And pineapple's good, you know? It is. It's just not very exciting, is all. We need to not eat the pineapple. We're definitely allergic. <laughs> We've been told this. Exciting? You want exciting? Then eat this! Fish head! Fish head? Fish head? Why fish head? Fish heads are yummy and the textures are different and good. Are they? They are! Okay! So which snack do you guys want? You'd like... <laughs> I mean, we can't choose the pineapple. I don't want to die right now. So do we go for the one that's tastier? <laughs> or do we go for the one that's interesting? <laughs> Let's go with fish head. <laughs> There you go. Bonnie hands you the fish head. I have another if someone wants one. Do we think the game will let you die from pineapple? Yes. 100%. There was... So, Molly, I don't know if you were here when we talked to Loop, but we have a sort of spirit who we think is perhaps the causer of the Loop, or at the very least, um, 
is helping us along with dealing with being in a loop. And they said to us, by the way, you're deathly allergic to pineapple. So, now that pineapple is an option, I think this is a test of whether you remember that or not. <laughs> I have another if someone wants one. I'll try it. I'm curious. Do we eat the whole thing? Yeah. But, like, not the eyes, right? No, you can eat the eyes too. They're the best part! Uh... Isabel hesitantly takes a bite. Oh. oh that's alright, actually. Uh-huh. You eat yours. Let me. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. I still want to know what's going on through the doorway, though. I bet a lovely pineapple dressing on that fish head. No! Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. We'll save your sister, Bonnie. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Mirabelle is biting her nails. You point to them. Nails. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Thanks, Sifrin. She should wear gloves like you do. We're gonna be okay. I hope so. <laughs> you might even say. Huh? Oh no. We're gonna nail it. I won't let you win. <laughs> <laughs> you almost did though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm still mad. The pun was too easy. It was bad. You laugh. She wouldn't be this mad if it didn't get to her. <laughs> so cute. Ugh. Hey, Sif. You know you look like a hamster when you eat? You do? No, I don't. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you do. Your cheeks get all big and round. Like a cute hamster. Isabel. Yeah? <laughs> Stop being cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I love these two so much. We could die today, huh? Mm. Oh well. I've had a good life. You won't die today, Odile. Oh, is that so? I won't let you. You can prevent it, after all. Hmm. Keep that sort of speech for the younger ones. I'm sure Isabel would love it. Go away now. I need my alone time. <laughs> Isabel eats a whole cookie at once and makes a hamster face. You stick your tongue out. So cute! Ah! <laughs> yes, we'll save our progress. <laughs> At the ripe age of 30, I have made peace with death. <laughs> uh, alright. I guess we'll... Are we ready? Not yet. Can I investigate this? No? What is this? What am I... What is this thing? It looks like hair. I don't trust it. You ready? Ready. All right, let's go. There's more of it. It's everywhere. The king is hairy, isn't he? Come to think of it. Wait, do you hear that? I do now. That sound, that's... It's the king. He's crying. There's a key on the floor. Pick it up. We found the empty key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a mask of some kind. You put the empty key in your pocket. Well, judging by its location, I'm guessing this is the key for the gate just ahead, but... Hmm. The gate is covered in some sort of Red? It doesn't seem locked, but you're not sure the key you picked up would be useful here. Is that so strange? I can't seem to move it aside. Frozen thread. It seems to be covering the rest of the floor, too. Can we cut it? Whoa! Bonnie flipped your cape up, grabbing your dagger.
Did you break my dagger, darling Bonnie? Uh, no. No! I promise! No, it actually isn't. That's good news. <laughs> so scary, Seth. His dagger isn't broken, but it didn't seem to have done anything to the thread. Oh, wait! Look, it did something! The thread is slightly dented here. So a sharper knife could do the trick, maybe? I suppose. Either way, we should explore this floor more. Will you start walking Bonnie Tugs on your cloak? Sorry, Fred. Well, they must really feel bad. An apology from you, Bonnie? That's... Magnificent. <laughs> I mean, not funny, Sifrid! You crab! A knife, huh? <laughs> oh, magnificent. Where did you find a knife to cut this door open? We have new tristesses and such to fight, but I don't want to. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. The door is locked. Symbol of the keyhole is shaped like an angry mask. Hey. True, I am such a crab. He is very true. Oh, hello, new friend. Misère attacks. I won't get one three. Regular attack. Uh, your turn, Mirabel. Ooh. Oh, ah! Don't do that. Okay, so if we get frozen in time and end a fight, are we fine? Looks like it. Okay, cool. Good to know. It's a funky damage sprite. Oh. Oh, I don't trust any of this. No, sir. Hmm. Little paintings for people looking at the artist. They look very realistic. That's not suspicious at all. Don't worry about it. The mirror. You and your allies are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. Massive, even. There's not really anything else of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, it was in a part of the house I didn't often walk by. Hmm. He's supposed to be looking for something. If it is what I think it is, then... Should be... Aha! Everyone said fromage! Relax! What was that? Oh, look! Something's on the ground! Piece of paper. <laughs> Behold! Oh! Oh! <laughs> so cute! It's a picture of all of you. It's us! This is lovely. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. I heard rumors someone was creating one, but I didn't know that someone lived in Dormont's house. It looks so surprised! <laughs> and Isabel knew this was coming. Pictures are so rare. It's nice to have one of us. Thank you for telling us about it, and for taking a picture, Isabel. Oh. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, I need to. We need to get a, a photo on another loop and see what it is. And nothing weird will happen to that picture. There certainly won't be any people missing. We got a memory of reflection. You'll always remember this. When memory of reflection is equipped, your defense will be automatically boosted at the start of a battle. Not bad. What should we do with it? Hmm. Adil looks at you. Would you keep it safe, O1 with all the secret pockets? You beam. <laughs> you got the mirror picture. Oh, it's so cute. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. oh, I love it. I love this game so much. Oh. Oh. Flash the mirror somehow made something appear. I reached down and pick it up. Found the smiling key. Keychain dangling from it is shaped like a smiling mask. Put the smiling key in your pocket. You now know where the smiling key is located. Now we have two pictures of me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We can we can bump into these all we want. Tear floats gently. Touch it. No, a living time. 
You walk away from the deer. Good to know, though. Ah! Oh! I was looking at chat briefly, and I missed what was happening on the screen here. Um. Hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah. And then my. Uh, my. And then my. <laughs> Someone in pink mode! <laughs> um. Desespoir. Oh, good lord, have you seen that health bar? Terrifying. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Your turn, Mirabelle. Uh, Odile, scissors three. I, just, I only just spotted its face when it gets hit. Aww! Oh, little poor huge guy. Um, all right, let's. So it's knife to meet you. Every video game, every RPG needs a video game, which is big hands. Exactly. Consider putting big hands in your D and D campaigns. Um, all right. Let's just keep attacking. Honestly. Oh, ah, oh, dang it! That's not what I want. Um, okay. I should have done boost defense. Let's examine. Real analyzes the enemy. <laughs> Look at his face. Cute little face. Cute but strong, aren't you, little guy? Beating a sadness like this will definitely make us stronger. Let's stay on our guard. We can still run away if it's too strong for us. That's not a terrifying sign whatsoever. Okay, let's slow you down real quick. Go, Bonnie, go! Womp. Does this bar kills into a ball? Oh, it can heal. That's a shame. Uh, let's unfreeze Sifrin. Because we might need them. Uh, your turn. Sifrin, you didn't get a go. To cleaver by half. Uh, Jolly Round Rondo, why not? Uh, don't have Scissors 3 back yet. Just guard. It's a friend. Buy one, get one, three! What? <gasps> Bonnie missed. That's fine, Bonnie. Don't worry about it. Uh, still can't give a turn away. Mirabelle time, Mirabelle attacks. And then we get a heal and a power move. Yes! Perfect. Breathe in and out. That was an experience. Not bad at all. If and you ask me. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <gasps> oh no! A dog! Dog! Doggy! Bobby! An actual human also standing right there. They have a massive bow, too. Looks cute. Massive bow? Massive bow? Oh! Oh, that's my friend! I gave them that bow! And that's their dog! Uh-oh. Oops. <laughs> you can never tell them you noticed their dog before them. No, never, ever, ever. They make fun of me for days! At least they think it's funny, it seems. If you did that to me, Mirabelle, my revenge would be swift and absolute. I would never, Madame Ideal! Never ever! This is a one-time mistake! I'm glad they're with their dog, at least. They're not alone. A bobby. A bobby! The closet contains some bandages, painkillers, and... Oh, eye patches! These look ugly. Friends is better. <laughs> Does your eye patch fit still, Sif? I can adjust it if you ever need me to. He smiled. Isabo made your eye patch when you lost your eye. He apparently crafted it so it wouldn't bother you or itch or anything. It's comfy and fits you well. Aww. Aww. So cute. Some old, boring books. Oh? There's a Kabuan book here. 
Huh. That's a craftonomy book. You don't really have time to read about craft of any kind. Let's keep going. Leave the book alone. Small paintings of various housemaidens. You can see Mirabelle in some of them. Aww. Aww, because they were friends. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> a cooking book all about... Croissants. So, Mirabelle, all about Vogardian croissants. You tune out. Don't want to even think about croissants. <laughs> no deal is smiling, which means they're probably done. Hmm. Fascinating. Thank you, Mirabelle. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mira. You have something to say, perhaps? <laughs> Mirabelle and the dog were friends. The human was probably incidental. <laughs> oh, no, we would never. <laughs> it's just... It's us! Welcome in! How are you doing? Oh, oh my spine. You're playing retro. How was it? <laughs> How retro are we talking? Welcome in, Raiders. I hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. We're playing In Stars and Time, which is so cute. It's such a cute game, everyone. I will fix my weird body. Thank you, Fizzy. I want to play this myself, so got a dip. That's, yeah, absolutely worth doing. This worth keeping this as secret as you can. But thank you for the raid. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Um, welcome in, Raiders. Yes. Uh, so, to get you caught up to speed, firstly, if you have seen the game in Stars and Time, or if this little um, screenshot is making you think, "Ooh, this looks like something I'd enjoy," you may wanna you may wanna duck out because this it's it's not massively a game that you don't want to know too much about going in. Like, there's definitely like flags you have to get before you can do stuff. So it's not like knowing stuff beforehand ruins much, but it's also nice just being able to experience stuff for yourself. Anywho, um, yes, this is In Stars and Time, a very cute RPG uh, about a group of uh, adventurers who are trying to defeat the king who has taken over the House of Change, which is a religious building to the God of Change, B bizarrely enough. Um, the king has frozen people in time across the country and we are now trying to go and defeat him to essentially get time going again. Um, but uh, our main character, Sifrin, the one in the big hat, uh, is stuck in a time loop. So we've been through the castle a few times, we've died a few times and gone back to the day before the, um, before the attack on the castle. The king isn't actually the king of anything. He just likes the title. Yes, apparently. Um, and so, yeah, so essentially the, the conceit of the game is like you have to gain information to help you avoid traps and things like that or to solve side quests based on stuff that you learn later, technically. It's so like there was a locked door that required a password, but we only knew the person that we had to ask once we came upon that door, which was in the castle, which we can't leave once we're in it. So when you do the time loop again, you can go and talk to the person and be like, hey, what's the password to that door? And they're like, oh, it's this. And then next time you get to that door, you can open it. It's cute. <laughs> Much like Elvis, come to think of it. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe <laughs> maybe the final boss is Elvis. Um, but yeah, and other than that, the characters and the art style and everything are just absolutely delightful. And I love all of these dweebs. And I'm definitely going to cry at this game at some point. Keep your eyes out. It's very cute, right? Yeah, it's cute. Your eyes light up and everything when you're learning things. It's cute. Cute. Deal is a cute, she's old. No, Boniface, they have a point. I am very cute, aren't I? I wonder how cute you'll think I am when I put wasabi in your sandwiches when you least expect it. <laughs> You'd help me out, wouldn't you, Boniface? I've always had for putting spicy stuff into people's lunches, so yeah. Oh no. Sorry, ma'am! We didn't say anything! He chuckled. Oh, it looks like Sifrin wants a sandwich as well. Would you like me to offer you one of my sandwiches, Sifrin? You've been spotted. <laughs> no ideal, thank you, ideal. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
the characters are lovable dweebs, just like Krebs' Twitch audience. That's why she likes it so much. It's true. It is entirely true. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? You're in for a penny, in for a pound. That'd be so cute of you, Odile. Open twice as many peppers in there, Steel. See that you do. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> so cute! Something about spicy food is the achievement I just got, apparently. You got a memory of first strike. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of first strike makes everyone faster at the start of a battle. I think I might want to equip that basically immediately, actually. Uh, who is that for? Odile? I guess. Memory of first strike or health item used by Odile during battle. Probably not going to use that very much. Odile is merciless. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Uh, Bonnie. Memory of snacks. Bonnie's more likely to heal everyone. What was the other one I have? Bonnie's more likely to attack. Yeah, let's go with heal, I think. Um. Reflection, Isabeau sees it all. Ready for anything. Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's try that for a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Some vials, let's see. We've got a pepper juice. That's going right into our sandwich. <laughs> um, okay. What's this? There's a chain on the table. <gasps> Probably for a pendant. You pick it up. You got the massive chain. With the massive chain in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Wait, 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 but... Wait, but, wait, but, wait, but, wait, but... A chain without its pendant. Its beads are massive. Look at the pendant and chain. Can they be fused into a new hole? You take the chain and try to put the pendant on it. <sighs> Chain's beads are too big for the pendant, aren't they? Oh, that's too bad. No! You're so sad! Nothing ever goes right in your life! Oh, it's okay, Sifrin. We'll figure something out. We'll find some way to get this pendant that goes ding ding. There's a hole here, hidden between some supplies. Doesn't bring you any... Wait a second. It does bring somewhere! Huh? Secret passage! You all enter the secret passage. It's just a hallway. Somehow, I feel like we're wasting our time. But I suppose we might as well see where it leads. Yeah, sorry, for, for the people that came in with the raid that haven't seen this before. Uh, we picked up a bell pendant earlier. A pendant without its chain. It's shaped like a bell. Useless pendant without a chain. But at least you can do this! You shake the pendant. It goes, ding ding! As if summoned, the funny noises appreciation crew jump to your side. Ding ding! Ding ding! Ding ding! Wasting time, but it's frozen. Yes and no? <laughs> Be master, welcome in. There are still things that can impact us. So, theoretically speaking, we can still waste time. But, yeah. We don't, we're not necessarily wasting seconds as much as we are a more abstract concept of time, I guess. Oh no, this is hurting my brain. <laughs> To be fair, I don't know that time is frozen, it's just that people are frozen in time. However that works. Ah, I'm thinking too much about it now. Help. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <clears throat> this bookcase is filled with romance novels. Not your thing, but you don't mind them. Romance novels! Romance! Novels! Ew. I understand the kid's reaction, but why ugh, madame? That sounds so disgusted, madame! Romance novels are good! Uh. I'm just the kind of person who has decided romantic love is not very important to me, Mirabelle. <gasps> Mirabelle is looking at a deal intently. Have you... Have you never been in love before, Madame Adil? Huh? Oh, no. Of course I've been in love before. It'd be weirder if I didn't at my age. Uh, oh! I did fall in love for the first time later than most. Maybe in my twenties? And even then... Took me a while to realize what I was feeling. Yeah? What is that? At the time, I genuinely didn't know you could get crushes on people you hate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What? That's weird. 
Wait, no? Is that true? Um, yes. Crush is gonna be annoying like that. My heart has been good to me, though. So that hasn't happened to me in a long time. <gasps> Why are you so surprised? You recommended me a romance novel that was about better enemies becoming lovers? And I never understood why they would do that, but the story was written and interesting, I just figured it was them being weird! But, isn't there a whole genre of romance books about enemies becoming lovers? I thought it was a love trip that didn't have any basis in reality, just like how your heart doesn't actually be faster when you see something you like! Isabeau puts a hand on Mirabelle's shoulder. Conversations like this are why I hope we'll stay friends for a very long time, Mira. Oh, I'm so glad. I feel this. Wait, no! <laughs> Wait, can you not choose who you get a crush on? It just happens? This is right so much! You open the drawer. You got five sweet tonics. You got three super sweet tonics. Three salty broths. Three crafted waters. What the? Jackpot! Give them all to Bonnie for safekeeping. Hell yeah! It's a letter addressed to the writer's mother. You skim through it. Sounds like someone ran away from home and had to reassure their mother they were doing okay. Drama! They ran away from home? Why would they do that? Home is where the stacks are. And also family. And also family. You've never ran away from home, Bonbon? Well, heart cannot physically beat any faster than it already does. The heart's the size of a dormouse, but so, so strong and so fast. Dog. Welcome in, lovely. How are you doing? I have to take back that cool kid certificate from you. <laughs> I like the little delay in that. I ran away from home once. Um, just want to check something real quick. Sorry. I was supposed to make him. I don't know why Draenog didn't get a message when they typed. They got the shout out, which is nice, but. Why didn't that go through? That'll do. Anywho, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Now that that's finally out of the way. There it. Well, yeah, I, I sent it through <laughs> manually. The bottom side of the trailer's had it too good for too long. I ran away from home once. Oh, you did? Huh. Tell us more, cool kid. What was the reason why? You don't even have to think about it. <laughs> I just didn't want to eat my veggies. Huh. So I took our boat. Got to the beach, rode away from the shore a bit. I was gonna come right back right away. I just wanted to scare my parents a bit. Such a terrible child. Uh, and then? And then? What happened when you got back? I started to row back towards the shore, and then I... I... Sif? What? Uh, yeah? Um, you were telling us how you ran away from home? I... was? You... Were. Did you forget what you were talking about while talking about it? Seriously, Sif, so we've got to do something about your awful memory. Hey. Well, that was new. Uh-oh. Running away from home. What a weird thing to do. What was that about? I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure that's normal. Don't worry about it. What was that about? Oh, oh. What was that about? I need to know. <laughs> Sif, you need to tell me right now. Oh, golly, okay. I'm sure, I'm just, it's fine. It's probably fine. Everyone knows the stories that end with you trailing off very absentmindedly looking haunted in the middle of the sentence are bound to be stories about things going well for you and fine okay brilliant 
Uh, let's do some of this. Get on the island to the north. <gasps> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe we did! Oh no. Hell yeah. Breathe in and out. I do notice that we breathe in and out as our battle ending thing, which is curious. And I mean, I do definitely get the feeling that Sif has some anxiety to deal with, but... How deep, how deep we talking? Nothing bad has ever happened to a child who was running from home, exactly. An oven for clay. It has a name, but you can't remember right now. It's a kiln, Sifrin. Oh, a kiln. <laughs> Some weird tools to make parts. You forgot what they're called. Horror wheels, Sif. Ah. Horror wheels. There's a lot of names of things that we've forgotten so far, huh? Hmm. Oh, Sif. What have, what are your memory problems? Someone frozen in time. Ah! Oh, that's the pottery teacher. She doesn't like me. I broke the whole class's work during the last class I had with her. How did that happen? Everyone's finished work goes in the shelf over there. And I bumped into it simple mistake and then it was fine and then I tried to jump away so I wouldn't break anything but I bumped into someone else uh oh you bumped into someone else I bumped into someone else and so on and then someone bumped into the table flipping it over right into the shelf wish I could have seen it yes that sounds quite entertaining how many people died? <laughs> Have we learned where Sif is wrong, actually? We haven't, no. We know very little about Sif. Um, generally speaking, I think. I think just that then, presumably from neither uh, Vogard nor Kabue, nor, I guess, wherever Bonnie's from? I don't know that we know where Bonnie is from. Although Bonnie also has some Vogardian traditions, it sounds like. Or at least knows about them. I'm not entirely sure. An open book, stained by clay and dirty hands. It's an issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 87! That's our newest high. You should remember this number. Bonnie is from close to the disappeared island, allegedly, yes. At least they think they are. There's some unused clay here. We got some lumpy clay! Ooh. What can we do with this? Lumpy clay. Is nothing, but can become anything. You squish the clay between your fingers. Feels nice. Statue of the Change God. Been destroyed. Stool, but there's only one, so it'd be rude to sit down. A shelf filled with little change gods. They're all different shapes and sizes, some smiling, some crying, some with no face at all. There's a box here. The box is filled with crafting materials and finished art pieces that no one liked. Including... Papier Mache gloves? They're massive! Oh, papier mache gloves? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what a papier mache glove would be otherwise. And they were not made for a kid, that's for sure. Huh. Take the gloves and put them in here, Isabeau's hands. Oh my. A perfect fit! Isabeau bats his eyes. My dear Sifrin, would you do me the honor? You laugh and try to put the gloves on him. The stiff papier mache makes it hard, but after some effort, you succeed in your task. <laughs> Papier mache hands! How comfortable are they? Not even a little bit! <laughs> Got the papier mache hands! Papier mache hands are equipped to Isabeau. That's just how it is now. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering if they're gonna be like, are we allowed to change them? They're very special. When equipped, they turn Isabeau's basic attack from rock to paper. Ooh! Ah, <gasps> oh, that's amazing! Oh, hang on now. Huh. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's fun. That's fun and flirty. Um. <laughs> hmm. Question is, do I want him to? 
Or do I want to have someone who is having regular rock attacks? He has... Like, I've, I've definitely come afoul of not having very many paper attacks available. I think this would mean I have three paper... No. I'd have four paper attacks across all of my party members. And then only three rock? I think? And they would all be... Craft. So they'd all have cooldown. Ooh. A difficult choice. Let's keep paper for now. And see how we get on. Clothes contains some tools to make pottery. There's also two salty broths. Lovely. <clears throat> Alright then. Okay. Can't go through there. Key time! Insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Can't go down there. Howdy. Everyone feels stronger. Everyone feels faster. Everyone feels sexier. Um, let's buy one, get one, three. Let's jolly round Rondo. <gasps> Rude. Okay, we're still, so... Uh-huh. Isabeau is still weak to paper, even though his basic attack element has changed. Good to know. Also, it's wild that Odile is now faster than Isabeau. <laughs> it was now level 49 and learned the craft skill break. Break! Odile is now 49 and learned the craft skill paper alpha 5? Isabeau just learned a new skill. <laughs> I've gotten stronger. You got the memory of break. Break! You always remember this. What's it do? Use break. Break is a skill, even if he isn't at level 49. Break, break is a skill that lowers one enemy's defense. Nice. Not bad at all. <laughs> I finally figured it out. You got the memory of paper alpha... F is that paper alpha 5? I'm guessing... When equipped, your research will be able to use Paper Alpha 5 as skill, even if she isn't level 49. A skill that deals big paper damage to one enemy. Hell yeah. Well, in that case, I might want to <laughs> put Isabeau back to... Uh, <laughs> back to rock type. Oh no. Someone frozen in time. Ah! Whoa! She's another house maiden! I always wanted to talk to her. She's so cool! Her crafting pieces are always so perfect! I want to be just like her when I grow up. Huh? Well, you're an adult, pal. You're already grown. Uh, I... Oh no, she's realizing she's a real actual grown adult. We won't go through this realization, Mira. It'll be okay. Uh, no, sorry, it's not that. It's just... She looks so scared. I... Let's go, everyone, please. Sure, Mira. That's my room. You said you didn't intend to come down to this part of the castle very often, Mira. Or did you say things got shifted round? I don't entirely remember. Mirabel's dresser. Don't even think about it, Sifrin. It'd be rude to look inside, so you don't. Unless. <laughs> don't even think about it, Sifrin. Some flowers. I'm trying to grow them out. They haven't died yet. Even though I haven't been here for months now. I suppose that's something I can thank the king for. Yeah, she did say the house got shifted, didn't she? Horror books. There's the Cursing of Shadow Castle, issue 68. Death Die Dice Maker. 100 ways to die horribly. The meat slicing. Ah. Well, the last one's actually a cooking book. Issue 68. You should remember this number. Lots of horror books in there. Is this one about a group of young adults being forced to kill each other for someone's entertainment? It is! Hmm. We should have a book club sometime, just the two of us. We 
we should. We can exchange letters and recommendations after we meet the king. Well, not just you two. Elizabeth's aren't invited? No. Girls only. Yeah, back off, Isabeau. Be told to back off by Mirabelle herself. I feel blessed somehow. <laughs> the rest can't read. Why read when you can have people recite things instead? Why, indeed. <laughs> the closet has a lot of different dresses that look similar to Mirabelle's. Is it her closet? I mean, yes, we'd hope so, given that this is apparently her room. Rolled papers. Papers filled with complicated equations. A bed. And that's my roommate's bed. Oh, okay. So it could be... Well, no, because there's also a closet over here. And do you think she's okay? What does she like, this roommate of yours? She's the worst. I really don't like her. Huh? I didn't know Belle could hate people. She doesn't clean her side of the room ever. And she leaves her experiments and weird potions around everywhere. And she always sings way too loud. And when I ask her to maybe change songs and sing something I like, she always tells me, No can do, princess. She's mean and has no respect towards others. So, a normal roommate. Maybe! But, even so, not seeing her around, it really worries me. Positive. Lara, stay positive. No oh, mirror. One of those broken, the other seem intact. Let's see. A pepper juice, a thyme juice, a ginger juice. Nice. Closet filled with unsafe looking potions. Your roommate making bombs? Because with all the materials she has in here, it looks like she was learning how to make craft bombs. What? No! Was she? <laughs> I'm just saying. She has the materials to make a craft bomb. Seems like she didn't finish it, though. That makes you feel better. How do you know how to make a craft bomb? I learned it while I was studying to become a defender. B but isn't that just common knowledge? I've never learned that. I've never learned how to make a bomb? I know I'm a kid and you'd think I definitely know how to make bombs, but I've never learned either. Oh. What else does it need then? Uh, why? Zah, we have to throw a bomb at the king. It'd be so funny! What? Yeah, it would be funny. It would. What else do we need? Rumid has some stuff already, so we just need... Isabel starts explaining what you need with very confusing words. What? Use simpler words, ah. Uh, there's already a short gizmo gadget here, so we just need a long thingy thing and a secret ingredient. Oh, okay. Makes sense. It doesn't. Time to find those things! We got the short gizmo gadget. Okay, so we just need a long thingy thing and a secret ingredient. Duly noted. Do we have any of these? Look at the short gizmo gadget. If you had a long thingy thing and a secret ingredient, you might be able to make a bomb. Sadly, it seems we have neither of those things right now. Is about the type of person to look up how to cook meth on Wikipedia just because it's interesting. Yeah. Let the man have his curiosity. This way must lead to a shared bathroom. Okay. It's a barrel full of water. Why are there so many barrels here, Mirabelle? I think everyone has so many barrels. Hmm. This gate is locked. Locked by one of those weird word locks. Something written above the lock, too. Maybe you should take a closer look. Uh oh. Oh, it's is it gonna be brain hurting words? Try to read what's written. Cannot read what is written above the lock. Just trying to read this makes my head hurt. It is. It's head hurting words. A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. Oh, but surely. Surely one of these days it will. Mirror barrel. <laughs> okay. Someone frozen in time. Oh, that's... I don't know who that is, actually. I have a cool necklace, though. Let's see. Oh! I know them! That's another housemaiden! I haven't seen them in a while. I didn't know they were changing. 
can't think of it. I hadn't seen them for a little bit before the king. Maybe they were close to done crafting their body. If we can beat the king, you can see them and beat them again. Yeah. Aw, oh, cute. Paper and a pen. Looks like someone was in the middle of writing down their change. You know, deal, look closer. <laughs> hey, don't look, it's private. Just because everything's frozen doesn't mean we should look at everything, you know? Oh. I wasn't aware. My apologies. He's right. You look away. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. You two didn't know. And still, this brings back memories. Ah, I'd love to craft my body more. I'd love to be two centimeters taller. Why two centimeters? Aren't you tall enough already? I think you're too tall, you should cut it out. <laughs> cut what out? Anyway, Mira, you don't understand. Two more centimeters, I'll pass the threshold. With two more centimeters, I'll finally be tall with a capital T! <laughs> I support you and your tall dreams. What a simple reason. Crafting your body, huh? And, you know, instead of crafting your body itself, maybe there are easier ways to gain height? Ah! Uh, like what? You could wear high heels! My heels hurt my feetsies. <laughs> Drink lots of milk. That makes me sick sometimes. <laughs> you could tie your hands to a pillar and tug on your feet really hard? Uh. Worth a try. <laughs> Dudes be like, wish I was taller. My guy, you are seven foot tall. <laughs> and a half rope. I'm sorry I brought us to this point. Let's stay focused, please. Some vials. Two salty broths. Beautiful. Closet filled with many different types of clothes. Oh, look at this shirt. This is the same material as your cloak, right, Sif? This also looks incredibly warm. I still don't know how you managed to wear your cloak this whole summer. I've had the cloak for a while. I never really get hot with it, though. Really? Sif, can I look at your cloak for a sec? You nod. Taking care to not touch you, Isabeau kneels and takes a hold of your cloak. Huh. Your cloak's been sewn with some kind of temperature regulation spell crafted into the stitching. That's kind of cool. No wonder you always look comfortable no matter with the weather. Huh? What? Isn't that really, really advanced crafting? Ah, oh, it's also been crafted to make the cloak grow with you. It must have been incredibly expensive, unless it was handmade. How long have you had this? You try to remember. Nothing comes to mind. You shrug. <sighs> I'm really jealous. Sorry. Yeah, if you ever sold this, you'd be set for a few months if not a whole year, you know? Craftsmanship alone. Crafting stuff into the stitching is really interesting, actually. Huh. <laughs> Spoken like a true clothing designer, huh? Oh, uh, well. Did I tell you about that? Huh. Oops. Quick, say something! It's just because your clothes are so cool! Aw, oh, thanks! Oh, we're letting slip that we know things from other loops! From other loops! Anywho. A closet. You open it. You found the angry key! With the angry key in your pocket. You now know where the angry key is located. A keychain dangling from it is shaped like an angry mask. And that's a different face than the key you've gotten before. Why are the faces different? I may have missed it. Is there a reason we haven't told them about the loops? We've not had an option to thus far. Does it mean something? Um, Loop did sort of say, like, what's stopping you from telling your friends? And I think Sif, in a very Sif way, kind of dodged the issue. But I don't know. I guess I guess we'll probably see at some point. Uh, does it mean something? What's this about? Oh, every keychain will probably have a different mask. Oh. So every mask will have a different emotion? Is that what it's trying to represent? Oh, I know this one! That's the change god! No matter what emotion it has, if it has a mask, that's the change god! The change god always has a mask, and never has the same expression. Or art style, for that matter. It's to show the change god is ever-changing. But also to show us that emotions are fleeting. No matter how wonderful or awful you're feeling, this feeling will fade in time. Letting good emotions have to fade, too. Why can't we keep being happy forever? That'd be boring. Can you imagine? It'd be like... Uh, like being forced to eat your favorite food forever. 
I like that, though. Are you sure? Really imagine it. Eating only your favorite food all the time. Can I stop eating it when I'm full? Nope. Can't do anything sick. Expect eat. I can't go to the bathroom? Nope. That would suck. Indeed. Just like feeling terrible forever would suck too. And some of those feelings might stay for a while, make their home here. But knowing they'll eventually go away, isn't it a relief? Guys, the game is definitely gearing up to punch me in the stomach, I think. <laughs> a book detailing how to craft your body. Ah, this book looks simpler than the one I study. Apparently they made some big strides in bodycraft recently. Before, it took close to a year to make big changes. <laughs> this game is coming for our ass. <clears throat> uh, before, it took close to a year to make big changes. But now you can change in a month or so. It's interesting. Crafting your body is so... accepted here in Vogard. In Carboe, using craft on yourself would be grounds for prison. Prison?! But why?! Because you can craft your body to your liking, where's the limit? Take the king, for example. They say he has crafted his body to become so massive he can destroy houses in a single gesture. And that's without mentioning his mastery over timecraft, too. But that's... I'm not saying Carboe is correct. I'm just telling you their point of view. Plus, it's not like there aren't ways to do bodycraft in Cabo, eh? If you know where to look. Damn, it's like some kind of transgenre alligator. No, I was the transgenre alligator way back when. <laughs> way back in, like, the third game I played. <laughs> or streamed. Oh my, Madame Odile. Are you part of the underground resistance? <laughs> I'll never tell. <gasps> Resistanceology. <laughs> oh, they're all idiots. And I love them all so much. <laughs> Damn, is it real old and cool? That wasn't skits, that was Krebs. It's true, that's me. The bookcase is filled with books about bodycraft. Interesting. Can you tell me more about this? Oh, well... Hey, hey, dear. Don't you already know all this stuff? Hmm? And what do you mean? Uh, you're always asking questions about Vogar and change and stuff. Don't you already know about it? Huh. You never thought about it. Yeah, I was wondering about this too. You're always asking questions, which is fun. I can't believe you'd go to another country and not learn all about it beforehand. If only because it'd make you look stupid. Uh <sighs> How insightful, you two. What? Do you already know about the things you ask about? Uh, I do know some of the things I ask you about. But I also believe there's a difference between knowledge learned in books and knowledge learned by talking to people. Knowledge is important. But the meaning behind it, the emotional piece, that's important too. Books don't tell me anything about how it feels to be surrounded by Vogardian culture, to be bathed in it. But the three of you do. And you clearly love your country, love the change belief. And it's making me like it too, I suppose. Ah! Aw, oh, no deal. I don't get it. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to understand. I just want to know all I can about Vogardian culture, that's all. It's an entire book about bodycraft. An empty, clean bed. There's something on it. It's an animal, but not real. It's made out of fabric and other things. It's usually for kids. Those things have a name. It's a... Uh... It's a stuffed animal, dummy! Ah! Guys! Brynn forgot an easy word again! Sifrin! Ugh. We really have to do something about this, Sifrin. Did you really forget a basic word like stuffed animal? Hey, some of the things you don't remember the words for are basic. I use my brain for other things. Things other than remembering the word stuffed animal. What do you use the space in your brain for anyway? Puds? Huh. As a matter of fact, yes. Well, that's fine, but... My brain is just... Stuffed. With puns. Crab! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Sifrin, I'm so concerned about you. <laughs> An empty clean bed. There's a stuffed animal laying on it. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. Candles. <laughs> Pomegranate! Pomegranate. 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 Yeah! <laughs> you did it! Everyone claps proudly. <laughs> Pomegranate candles. Some vials. Let's see. Got one pepper juice, one thyme juice, one ginger juice. Which I've never used. Candles. <laughs> Lavender! Lavender candles. Um, okay. We got a new key. Can't go down there. Boom of granite, just like I said. Yeah. Yes, you did say that earlier. I remembered, and I felt the fear well up within me. Uh, I don't remember where the door was, though. Ah, this guy again. Everyone feels stronger, everyone feels faster. Hell yes. Love that for me. All right, Sifrin, let's knife to meet you. Uh, Mirabelle, Jolly Run Rondo, why not? There's a squad, does things I don't like. Uh, here I, big paper damage to one enemy. Okay. Uh, stick with scissors. I should be examining the enemies more. I feel like I'm missing out on dialogue. Uh, your turn. Let's give a turn to Mirabelle. Because... Oh, Deal won't be able to do anything right now. At least no scissors attacks. And that's what we want more than anything. I won't get one three! Yes! Slice them up. There's a squad. Don't power up the enemy. Bonnie missed. But Bonnie tried. That's the important thing. Slow you down. It's a bow. Break, break! This bow looks big and strong. It's true. Nice to meet you. Uh, still can't do scissors yet. God, I suppose. Run, 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 Mirabelle. Attack. And then to Cleaver by half. Excellent. I like that enemy. Quite easy to beat. Takes time, but gives good experience. Ah! Uh, okay. I think it wasn't this way. Yeah, this is where the... The mysterious room was where we start to get extra worried about Sif. <laughs> Which is frankly becoming every room. Oh! Hello there! Interesting and bizarre friend. Are there three of you? Oh, there are three of you. Oh, that's cute! <gasps> that's cute! They're trying to they're trying to tangle themselves up so you can't tell which hand is which, but then they all flash so you can still tell. Um, alright, let's go with torment why not okay they're all torment but still <laughs> oof uh Odile tell me about these dweebs what a mess I can't tell which is which I can't tell when they'll attack either how much health have got left so annoying all right everyone let's untangle this one with extreme prejudice, madame! How else? You can't see its health, or when it'll attack. But you can see them. You just need to aim. Some scissors on you. Okay. That's fine. Give your turn to Mirabelle. 
attack you. Ooh, ooh. Easy. Attack. Why not? Yes. Devastating news. Ow. Uh, stop. Easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. Breathe in and out. 650 experience. Not too bad, but probably not ultimately worth it. Uh, key time! You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Lyric smell, you one! What? Precrest sadness! Let's go! We had smelly one. So this kid is very strong about smells, for some reason. Good to know. Knife to meet you? Okay, so it's rock-based. That's fine. We can work with that, to a degree at least. Uh, paper alpha 5. <laughs> Woohoo! Ouch. Your turn, Odile. Paper three. I think we're good. Turn it up, deal, and just give it a slap. Wapow! Breathe in and out. Over a thousand experience. Noise. Got a star crest. Got the star crest in your pocket. Woohoo! All right, Boniface. What do you mean by weird, smelly? The status is all smell really sugary. That's it? Hole in the wall. The wall doesn't really bring you anywhere. Boniface, what about this wall? What does it smell like? Like a crabbing wall! Are you sure, Boniface? <laughs> does it smell of anything different that we might make use of? Wait. Okay, we got a star crest. I know of a place we can use that, but I feel like there was a second one as well. I don't know. Reach towards the light. Everyone was healed. Let's save. Back over the first slot, I guess. And we weren't even in loops when we did that save. What a time. Okay. Ah! Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll fight you. Ugh. Don't do that. It's very effective. Breathe in and out is a very evocative reaction to just finishing a fight, I feel. Yeah. That's why I'm curious about it. Alright, let's clear out this path this time. Free path time! I suspect maybe there's another place we're meant to use this, but I don't remember where that is. So I'm going with this one for now. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Whoa! Where are we? There's a big window over there, see? What? Was there a room like this in the house? Y yeah, I remember. Someone was working here. Studying... They looked like... Um... Sorry, I can't remember. Do they have something to do with the island? I wonder. Good news. There's no key or knife in here, Stardust. Oh no! Oh, okay, so we're trapped on this loop. This loop is doomed to fail. That's what the little X in the top right corner means. So I guess we will have to go and figure out where the other use for the star crest is. That's fine. We can do that. Drat! Roll the paper. You unroll one. It's a star chart. Well, guess we should explore this room for all it's worth while we can. You unroll one. 
It's a star chart. There's a book in Kabuan open on the table. You will look at Odile. A Kabuan book here in Vogard. How rare. The title translates to... Colours Through Time? It seems to be an essay about colour theory. Colour theory? What's a colour? We don't have time for this! Yeah, you don't really care. <laughs> a pile of papers. Something is written on them. Looks like a child trying to write down their first word. I'm sure it's some awful handwriting. And a determined child. Looks like they tried to write the same word on all those papers. A pile of papers. Something's written on them. Is Cowboy not in grayscale? Who knows? Maybe everything wasn't in grayscale before whatever event caused people to forget about the island. And... Uh, <laughs> some books. Just looking at them gives you a headache. A world globe. We're here! His bubble points to where you are on the lower half of the globe. Vogard, the land of change. Kabue is here. Odile points to a big country far from Vogard. Kabue, country you visited at least once. A bamboosh is here! Bunny points to a spot almost on the edge of Vogard. You spin the globe and jab your finger on a random spot. Oh! Is that... Is that where you're from, Seth? You smile mysteriously. What does the smile mean? You laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A telescope. It's dusty. What's that? Oh, I've seen one of those before. That's a telescope. I think you watch the sky with it? Like clouds? Like stars, I think. During the night, since they're not here during the day. Stars. Boring. Telescope. Okay. Well, can I look out this window? A big window. Those are stars, right? I remember just now. But don't they only appear at night? We left early in the morning, so it should still be light outside. I've heard it's always nighttime near the king. Maybe this is his influence? It was dark around the house yesterday, too, remember? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Star chart. What's this drawing for? This looks pretty good. Not really. It's just dots on lightless paper. I could do that. The dots on the map look like the sky we can see through the window. Could it be some kind of drawing of the stars? Map of the stars? But what for? You gently touch the map. For some reason, you can feel yourself frowning. Sif, what's going on with you? What's going on with you, buddy? Okay. I think I've checked all the interactable things in this room. I see stars, but find no meaning. Alright, let's do a loop time, baby! <laughs> you had a good sleep. Uh, alright, let's just loop back to here, I reckon. Back to floor three. This whole funny jokes pun thing is covering something up. For sure. You wake up. You don't exactly dream when you're frozen in time, but it's similar. Or more like it's a slice of a dream stretched into minutes, hours, days. A single thought, concept, forever rolling out like taffy. You dreamt about bananas. <laughs> Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. We'll save your sister, Bonnie. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I know. She's biting her nails. Point to them. Nails. Oh, hi! Broken Hog Faye, thank you very much for following. Welcome in. She should wear gloves. We're gonna be okay. I hope so. You might even say... Huh? Oh, no. We're gonna nail it. I won't let you win. <laughs> you almost did, though. Apparently... No, I don't. I don't eat like a hamster. It's Bo. Stop being cheeky. You won't die today, Odile. I won't let you. You can prevent it, after all. Okay. Wonderful. Let's... I guess... You ready? I'm ready. We need to go find a knife. Wait. Did you hear that? 
It's the king crying. There's a key on the floor. Pick it up. Each and dangling is like, like a mask of some kind. Well, judging by his location, it's probably the gate ahead. We already know we can't get through it. Doesn't seem locked, but I'm sure the key picked up would be useful here. Did you break my dagger, darling Bonnie? <laughs> oh, they must really feel bad. That's magnificent. <laughs> I'm not funny, Sifrin! You crab! Okay, so we need to go find a knife or a key. Uh, what level are we all at? Nice, okay. I don't remember what levels we were at before. Ooh, ooh, okay, hang on, though. Because we can go back into the secret room. I want to see what happens if we go and look into that stuff again. Also, yeah, this mirror. We have to see, we have to see what we get from this. Ah! Excuse me. A mirror. You and your allies are reflected in it. That's the big bearer. Massive, even. There's not really anything else of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, he was in a part of the house I didn't often walk by. Hmm. He's always looking for the switch. If it is what I think it is, then it should be. Aha! Everyone say fromage! Relax! What was that? Oh, look! Something's on the ground. Piece of paper. <laughs> Behold! Ah, uh, yay! That's <laughs> super smiling this time. Ah! It's a picture of all of you. It's us! This is lovely. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. I heard rumors someone was craving one, so, but I didn't know that someone lived in Dormont's house. You look so surprised! <laughs> Only Isabel knew, oh, Isabel knew this was coming. Pictures are so rare. It's nice to have one of us. Thank you for telling about it, telling us about it, and for taking a picture, Isabel. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. No one gonna comment on how Sif looked like they were ready for this? I guess not. Even the picture of finally reunited. Oh, <laughs> Sif really gets. Sif is so cute. Okay, so if I remember rightly. There are tiers to the right, yes. Okay, so this is one other place we could use the star crest. I feel like there might be another one as well, but I don't remember where off the top of my head. So I'll go have a look. Ah! Ugh. Get out of here! Like, look, I do like your whole deal. I like your nail varnish. It's very cute. But I don't necessarily want to keep fighting you, Desespoir. Scissors three. Uh, your turn, uh, Mirabelle. We use our craft one last time we did. That's fine. We still got scissors normal attack. Whew. That was a that was a good turn. Slap. Ouch. Go, Pony, go! Okay, we can't use scissors three. So we'll slow it down. Use a bow, can't do this, so we'll weaken it. Knife to meet you. Uh, still can't do nothing. God. Uh, keep fighting. Turn to Sifrin. Attack. This is very frustrating. Because unless... Oh, wait. Okay. Ah! We almost got it! It's very weak. A slightly stronger blow would have done it. Well, if it's weak, 
Want to deal the final blow, Bonnie? Can I? It is pretty weak, so... Sure. Knock yourself out. Uh, okay! Here I go! Yeah! <laughs> Clap. Great job, Bonbon. Bon. You did good. What would we have done without you? <clears throat> if an enemy is close to death, your little kiddo might deal the final blow. Look at them. So proud. Like a little bird who flew for the first time. We'll be then and out. <laughs> That's really cute. I mean, you know, Bonnie has killed a couple of enemies up to this point, but sure. <laughs> Uh, I think we're called about stupid croissants. So, Mirabelle, you tune out. Don't even want to think about croissants. Save them or watch it happen. Let's... <laughs> Let's save them. You slap your hand right on Mirabelle's mouth. Oh! <laughs> Shake your head at her and remove your hand. What the crab? What? I wasn't going to say anything bad. I'm just gonna say that, that, it's, that, that, this torch over there is wonderful, right? The design of it is very nice. I suppose. Maribel gives you a grateful smile. You give her a thumbs up. Oh, your glove now has a trace of lipstick on it. Oh, lipstick gloves. Mine smudge. It looks as perfect as always. You shake your head. <laughs> Sorry about your gloves, then. Ah, oh, there. Odile absentmindedly pats his bow shoulder. Huh? huh? Whatever could that mean? I know I don't know. <laughs> There's a chain on the table, probably for a pendant. You pick it up. You've got the massive chain! We already know it doesn't work with that goddamn bell pendant though, so what's the point of even trying and nothing <laughs> never works out in this world. Look at the secret passage. Huh? Secret passage! You all enter the secret passage. It's the hallway. Somehow, I feel like we're wasting our time. I suppose we might as well see where it leads. I actually don't know what it means. I think it's the about wants to give a little switch to Ziff. I bet he thinks that maybe those two would be all cute and cozy together. But it's not so cozy as it's supposed <laughs> I don't need to say comprehensible words. It's fine. Yeah. Do we learn anything from this? It's just you, Crab. Sure. I mean, I'm also entirely expecting a rug pull at the last second. It's like, no, it was never any of that. But... It's a letter addressed to the writer's mother. You skim through it. it. Sounds like someone ran away from home and had to reassure their mother they were doing okay. Drama. They ran away from home? Why would they do that? Home is where the snacks are. Also family. And also family. Never run away from home, Bonbon? I have to take back that cool kid certificate from you. I imagine he made him a genuine certificate that said cool kid on it at one point in the adventure. Anyway, people who run away from home are people who don't like their family, maybe. Uh, sometimes parents can be meanies, and someone might decide to just... leave. Oh. You can run away from home if your parents are meanies? Oh! That's what Nila did! I think. Nila? My sister! I think she told me about it once. And then I wasn't listening very well because I was sleepy. Oh? Oh. No one really knows how to respond to that. Huh? What? What? What did I say? N nothing at all, Boniface. Mm, should we look at something other than an old letter? Okay! <laughs> you open the drawer. Got five sweet tonics. I need to remember to come and check this every time. Because that's a lot of stuff. It's filled with romance novels. Not your thing, but you don't mind them. I don't remember if we got any choices in this dialogue. Okay. Nothing new. Excuse me. Sorry. Didn't mean to almost run into you and your dog. Uh, uh. 
And uh, no. <sighs> oh, you're new. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you're a whole thing. You're all kinds of information. Uh, Isbo. Why don't you do some fun rock attacks? Hmm. Nice. Easy peasy. Nope. Nope. None of that, thank you. Uh, was there something... <laughs> we can now confidently say what a kiln and... Uh, I forgot what they are. Pottery wheels. It's funny because I actually genuinely forgot what they were called for a minute. I've forgotten this one before too. An open book, stained by clay and dirty cans. Yep, yeah, okay. Saw that one already. No papier mashy hands in here anymore. Presumably. There's a box here. A box filled with crafting materials and finished art pieces that no one liked. Including. Actually, now that the papier mashy hands are gone, there's some tonics in there. Ooh. Okay. It's a barrel. Anything in here? Salty broths, yes. Excellent. I should probably use those broths more often, huh? Considering cooldown is one of my main problems at the minute. Okay, yeah, so there's this passage down south here. There's the one east of the, oh man, there's so many options. The closet, you open it, found the angry key. Hmm, what's this about? Oops, didn't actually mean to ask again. Has Sif remembered stuffed animal this time? Or have they forgotten it again? An empty clean bed. There's a stuffed animal laying on it. Okay, so stuffed animal they've remembered. <clears throat> I don't remember if there's anything worth doing in these rooms. We can try and read the brain hurting words again. It's the storage room. Another we'll try. Okay. Oh my word, I've still got... There's still so much of the game to go, isn't there? Because if absolutely nothing else, we still have to figure out what the heck is going on with the island. What up, my guy? Uh, let's give our turn to Isabeau. Skapow. You know what? Ah. Rude. Uh, I don't really need to bother doing uh, the type advantage attack there, considering it was basically already dead. But you know. Oh! Hello, new horrible friend. Uh, Sifrin, give your turn to Odile, I would say. Oh, I should have used paper up for five. I'm a fool! Easy peasy. Alright. So then I go north. Key time! Gonna beat this dude, weird smelly one, crest. So, yes. I wonder which way I have to go. Because I'm gonna have to re repeat the loop if I get it wrong, and that's a little. I mean, I could load my save file, I guess, if I wanna save a bit of time. But I wouldn't necessarily be able to see any new loop information if I did that. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay. Uh, still rock. Was it rock last time? I don't remember. I think it was though. 
Smash! Turn it up, Isabeau. Uh, heal up. Good, but that'll be cheating. Would it be cheating, or is that something the game would expect me to do? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it gives you saves for a reason. <laughs> even faster than fast? I don't know. <clears throat> Wait, I was doing that wrong the whole time. What am I doing? It's fine. It's one of Groundhog Day and you don't get to fuck with people. We got a star crest. All right. Woo! All right, Boniface, what do you mean by weird smelly? Um, let's go with this one, because it's closer this time. The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so yes, free path time. <laughs> let's see what awaits us. Uh-oh, wrong way, Stardust. Dang it. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I called Loop, they would have told me which way I should go. Oh well, it's fine, I wanna... In a way, I'm happy about this, because this is still information. And also actually a good argument for not just loading the save, because then this isn't information that Sif has. Unless it is! Maybe they found a way to program that in, program that in across save files! Ah! What if? <clears throat> A note for a festival that was supposed to take place. Today. Oh. Some vials. Let's see. Got two salty broths. Lovely. Some books. Some books. There's space in between two books. Like someone removed it. Ah. Bonnie seems to be reading it intently. It has a very striking cover of Moodoo clay for a green with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. We saw this before somewhere. You can't read the title. You're curious. What do you have here? Ah! Bonnie hides the book in their pocket. Nothing! There's nothing! Nothing at all! Sure. Okay. Shut up! It's fine! I'm fine! Stop looking at it! Stop looking at me! Shut up! You have to take this book instead! Bonnie shoves a book at you. Sneezing! How to expulse bad thoughts. Well. Sneezing? <laughs> Books all lined up. Find an anthology of horror stories. On the cover, a handsome young man looks into the night fearfully but longingly. Ooh, a mirror! Looks like the kind of books you like, yeah? Horror books? This one looks massive. What's this one called? That's the handsome young man falling into beautiful, heartbreaking madness horror anthology! Oh. Rivel's yelling made you jump. <laughs> the man who fucked the darkness. I don't think there is enough facts about sneezing to fill a book. The thing, <laughs> not to, not to insult you, Molly, but the things you don't know about sneezing could fill a book. Did did someone in the house have it all this time? Did someone keep it from you? What is it anyway? It's a full anthology all about pure-hearted boys being subjected to awful monsters and horror situations. Seeing them screaming in fright, I can't help but root for them, and at the same time be happy I'm not in their situation. There's something lovingly touching about those tales. Something wonderfully hopeful. I cannot help but read them and pray for their survival. So... So do they usually survive? Or do the monsters catch them? Well... 50-50? What? But, but also... The catharsis that fills my whole body being... My whole body being? My whole being when they get caught. There's something very wonderful about that, too! The Schadenfreude? The Schadenfreude! Pet Bartsis. Schadenfruber. Don't worry about it, Bonbon. I, too, am also lost. It's just, it's very good! Very moving! Makes me feel like I went on a run! And also, sometimes the heroes end up bonding with the monsters, too. 
What? Oh, romance. I understand the romance part. I understand all those parts, actually. Any books you'd recommend? Absolutely. I'll lend you some of my favorites once we... Well, once we finally escape a horror tale of our own, I suppose. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, I got bad news for you. I already know that we're doomed. Well, you're doomed. I'm just gonna bounce. The horror anthology isn't on the shelves anymore. Did Mirabel take it with her? There's a note with the word open phrase one, two, three written on it. Okay, extremely vital then that we come to this room, huh? You look at it a little closer. Is that an open phrase or something? Sounds very safe and not at all stupid. Hmm. Now, there was another open phrase door that we saw that wasn't the one with the dirty words written above it. I think that was in floor two though, right? Bunch of unfinished poems on the desk. Isabel slaps his hand on one of them. Mira! Yes, yes, I'm reading. Oranges are nice. Oranges are soft. Oranges are frail. When you look at me, I feel like one. Your fingernail digs into my cheek. Peel an orange open. The poem ends here. Is this a clue? No, it's just someone's unfinished poem. Let's finish it for them. Do we have time? Do we really have time to do this right now? Peel an orange open. Orange juice comes out. Oh, gems. Um, um, peel an orange open. Person who wrote this is the orange, right? That seems to be one interpretation, yes. Okay, so... I die. Hmm. Hmm. Very literal. Very nice. Blood oranges? Something with that? Something bloody but poetic? I haven't heard a single good idea yet. But do you have something then? No. Yeah, yeah, leaving us young people to do the job, I get it. Seth, your turn. Peel an orange open. It gets very appealing. Is it nice and sweet? Now, this is authentic. Like, that's maybe an, an actual attempt. Would Sif say that? Or would Sif just be like, now we gotta do the jokes? <laughs> I think Sif says we gotta do the jokes. <laughs> gets very appealing. <laughs> Sifrin. Take a bow. No one except Isabel claps. Okay, but the trouble is now I have to do my loop because I want to see the other option. <laughs> it's a poem about someone going to a grave. The poem lays here unfinished. Uh, okay. So that's, I think, us dead on this loop, right? I don't think the open phrase one, two, three uh, door is on this level. And everything else we've already explored. So, let's take a look at the save point, I guess? I think we're lower level. Are we lower level? I don't actually know. But in any case, presumably we're not though, right? Because we'd have loaded this spot. And then... Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, let's bounce back. <laughs> Touch it. I'm gonna assume we have enough... Uh... Whatever they were. Currency to loot back here. Loot back to floor three. It doesn't tell us how much it costs. It's the thing. Wake up. I dreamt you are eating a samosa as big as your head. You're hungry. All right. You ready? Ready. This time. This time. We're gonna just storm right on through. We're not even picking up items this time. I just wanna go and see what awaits us down the correct path. Okay, we can do the- we have to do the mirror again, so that's something. A mirror. You and your allies are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. 
Are we gonna say anything to get more people to smile this time? No. Same as last time. You and the picture are finally reunited. Wonderful. Put the smiling key in your pocket. Run, 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 run! Uh, no. Keep going this way. <laughs> Dag nab it. You know what? We're not even gonna do fights this time. I've decided we're just gonna leave. <laughs> we're done. We don't need your nonsense. Key time. Okay. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Speed run. Speed run. No time. There's a house to explore. Images you have get recorded, and when you go back to the start of the floor, you have your recorded items. You can also pick them up again from the same place. Yes! I believe you can. So you can just theoretically build up a big stockpile of items. Which is not a bad idea, but it's not what I'm interested in doing right this minute. Ooh! I think similar way with the experience. So it's like, because we reloaded, and I got a bit more experience last time, and then resaved, that got boosted up still. Um, but, yeah, this time we're just speeding through. The bunny looked too closely at them. Hey, friendo. So if I'm right, I should give my turn to Odile first? Uh, craft. Into L5. Sure enough. Craft, RC Silent Burst. Ouch. Uh, give your turn to Odile again. Guess I could speed this up even more if I gave uh, Isabeau um, the Papier Mache hands. But, oh well. Isabeau's now level 50. Ooh, hell yeah. Got a star crest. All right, this time, <laughs> this time for sure. I'm gonna save. Um, save up. Now let's save over save two, just in case. I actually don't want to bother fighting you. You're a whole thing. You're a whole deal. Okay. The tear floats gently. We have a star crest. Free path time. <gasps> Someone frozen in time. one of my friends. He pushed me away so the curse wouldn't get me and it hit him instead. He saved me. Isabeau hugs Mirabelle to his side. Let's keep going. Yeah. Can we check this key? This door is locked. The symbol over the keyhole is shaped like a crying mask. Huh. We don't have the key for this one yet, do we? There's a piece of paper stuck to the door. We'll close as many doors as we could, but if somehow you need the key to this one. I hid the key in room 403 in Little Mark's notebook. Room 403? Rooms have numbers now? The classrooms do. We've only seen a couple, but the house has way more. Room 403, though. I'm pretty sure we've at least passed it. It's where... Ah! Uh, it's, um, it's currently on the second floor. 
The second floor? But we can't go to previous floors, can we? The big doors close behind us, don't they? Well, that's not good. But you're here. Last room on the second floor, though. It's such a long way back. Better get going. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to go back to floor two. Redo that sort of stuff. I reckon I'm gonna call it there for today. <laughs> I think. Hopefully next time we can figure out that I need to go to floor two before I forget. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been streaming for a while. And I want to do some other things today. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> My brain is turned off, so I think that's another good argument. Um, but, oh man, the game. The game is getting. The game is getting troubling, huh? <laughs> um, amazing. Well, thank you all very much for coming by today. I hope you had a lovely time. I know I did. Did Convalescence Company? I hope so. I hope you feel better soon, Tam. Um, in the meantime, let's send you all to somebody such as... Uh... Let's decide with the Age Alliance next time. That's true! Although, yeah, if I do that, I do know almost certainly I'm trapped on a failed loop. But, worth investigating. Anywho, let's say hello to Smokey and Osio, who are doing a collab right now. Um, I think they're doing Sailor Moon stuff? Yeah, Sailor Moon art, apparently. Um, so yeah, I'll be back probably Friday? I want to maybe do an Ocarina of Time stream in the evening. I'm thinking moving Zelda to the evenings because more people are around. But we will see. And I'm not doing it tonight because uh, Fizzy and Prune are going to be doing some Elden Ring. And yeah. Have a lovely rest of your day, guys. I'm going to go melt. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Bye!